Sailing, Full Level Lightning Dragon Slayer, Build the Fairy Tale Emperor, Author, Pirates, Chapter 176 Yamato Blasts Golden Lion Shiki, Exclamation Mark Subscribe, Shut Up, Shut Up, Shut Up, Under Suyuchi Gogo's Heartbreaking Words. The legendary flying pirate completely broke through. This is exactly what Suyu wants to achieve. A great pirate like Golden Lion Shiki. If you want to use it for yourself, strength alone is not enough. You must attack your heart. Lozi is the Golden Lion. When Lozi ruled the sea, a kid like you didn't know where he was. Golden Lion Shiki yelled loudly. It's really ugly, old lion. If you want to prove that my words are wrong, you can use your strength to prove it. Suyu sneered. Just what I want. Go to hell. Golden Lion Shiki drank again and again. His right foot was lifted up sharply. The blade of the big sharp knife Sura Tanchan with a cold light, slash wave. A huge radiant golden sword energy leapt into the sky, September 17th, and attacked the pink dragon with the power to cut through everything. For Golden Lion Shiki, this blow is enough to crack mountains and rocks. Suyuru so looked for it. The expression on his face didn't change at all from the beginning to the end. An attack of this level didn't require him to take action at all. Give it to me. Yamato held the mace Ajian with his backhand, tapped his toes, and flew out. Thunder 8 trigrams. Yamato scolded coquettishly. The mace entwined with black and red conqueror's lightning collided with golden lion Shiki's huge sword aura through the air. Click. There was no stalemate at all. Just for an instant, golden lion Shiki's furious all-out blow was broken by Yamato. It's not over yet. The thunderous 8 trigrams that broke through the slash waves sword energy immediately bombarded and fell towards the body of golden lion Shiki. Nanny. Golden Lion was shocked suddenly. Hastily used Lion Fruit's ability to dodge. Boom. The ground he stood on blasted a large crater under Yamato's bombardment. This is the winding of Conqueror's Haki. Looking at the black and red lightning bolts on Yamato's mace, Golden Lion Shiki's overheated head recovered a little calm. Even though he's regressed to the point where he can hardly even use Haki, it's impossible not to recognize Haki's special effects. Because that used to be his proud move. Relying on Conqueror's Haki's winding sword skill to widen the gap with the second echelon. The legend of the last era, the flying pirate who is as famous as One Piece, I am honored to be able to fight against an opponent like you. Yamato spoke calmly. While speaking, Yamato activated his human's ability. Zone Dog Dog Fruit Phantom Beast Species Take True God Form, launched. With a former legend as the opponent, Yain will naturally not underestimate him in the slightest. As soon as it came up. It showed the strongest beastman form of Dexenshin, Washi Binya. It roared out with a breath of extremely cold air. Golden Lion Shiki was shocked suddenly, and with a wave of his hand, a thick earth wall rose from the ground, frozen under Yamato's icy breath. Next second, there was only a bang, and the frozen earth wall exploded. The pitch black mace magnified continuously in Golden Lion Shiki's pupils. Golden Lion Shiki jumped short, relying on the fluttering ability to be parallel to the ground. At the same time, the sharp knives on both feet slashed out mercilessly. Yamato did not rush, and Ren moved his mace to attack. Jingle, the sound of gold and iron clashing is endless. For a moment, the two sides played against each other dozens of times. Yamato took a few steps back. On the other hand, Golden Lion Shiki retreated more than tens of meters away. Even though the expression on the old face is still calm, but in his heart he is already scolding his mother. The terrifying aftermath from the twin sabers made his whole body tremble slightly. He clearly knew that he would never win in close combat. As a legendary big pirate, he couldn't even defeat the subordinates of the four emperors. This kind of thing, Golden Lion Shiki can't accept it anyway. Since you can't win in close combat, then really. Golden Lion Shiki slammed his big hand to the ground. Gee ha 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 ha. Amidst the loud laughter, the island shook violently. Golden Lion Shiki, full capacity, under the Paramecia Lion Fruit ability. In the end. The entire island fell into his control, with his big hand waving. One after another, lifelike and ferocious lion heads rose from the ground. Bite towards Yamato with boundless power. Go to hell, lion majesty. Earth coiling. Golden lion Shiki's five fingers slowly clenched together. The earth lion head controlled by him suddenly rotated and compressed around Yamato. Facing this trick of golden lion Shiki, Straw Hat Crew's main team was completely invulnerable and was wiped out with one blow. Zero. But... This kind of move can only be used to bully bully fish who don't even know what Haki is. God's Foot, White Snake District. Yamato took a deep breath. At the same time as the body shot out, the mace entwined with black and red lightning bolts swung violently. It was as if there was a huge white snake galloping and roaring in the dark. Boom. Rumble. The unclosed lion majesty of Golden Lion Shiki was pierced by the galloping white snake. The terrifying shockwave then hit Golden Lion Shiki's body. Countered by Yamato's ult, Golden Lion Shiki's eyes popped suddenly. The figure is arched like a shrimp, uncontrollably flew backwards. Blood spurted from the mouth. Boss Shiki, how so? Our captain is a legendary big pirate. How could Captain Shiki be raped by a brat? No. Such a thing is absolutely impossible. All the pirates in the flying group couldn't help screaming in horror. Ugh, Yamato, step down. 
I'll do it next. Fen Long Runty shouted, say it. Without waiting for what Yamato said, Run started with a catapult and headed towards Golden Lion Shiki. Chi Run was in the original plan. The legendary Golden Lion's strength must be extraordinary. When Yamato is forced into a 4.5 desperation by Golden Lion Shiki, and then he takes a strong shot to win him, he can prove that he is stronger than Yamato. However, the plan cannot keep up with the change. She miscalculated Golden Lion Shiki's strength. Yamato was on the verge of crushing it before he could even use his full strength. In this way, how can Run still sit still and even attack? Runty, that's my opponent, don't get in the way. On the other hand, Yamato will not be used to Runty's bad behavior of stealing people's heads. Immediately, the two Yudman's girls ignored Golden Lion Shiki and went to war first. It was also because of Runty's gag that Golden Lion Shiki got a chance to breathe. Golden Lion Shiki, who wandered around the Santu River, struggled to return to the present world with the legendary pride and dignity. The moment he opened his eyes, what caught his eyes was Suyu's pitiful gaze. Chapter 177 Thunder Flame Dragon King Break the island with one punch. Rain in the Golden Lion. Subscribe. It's so sad. Golden Lion Shiki, are you so weak? Suyu spoke pitifully. I thought that the Straw Hat Boy in the original plot line was able to defeat Golden Lion Shiki because of the aura of the protagonist in the theatrical version. In the theatrical version, not to mention the old Golden Lion. Even the most prosperous Roger has to kneel. So you originally thought that even if Golden Lion Shiki was regressing and fell to the Emperor level, he would at least have the strongest combat power under the Emperor. It is not enough to rely on Yamato alone, and Junai can basically win it. Never thought. He seriously overestimated the combat power of Golden Lion Shiki today. Yamato alone is enough to handle it easily. The so-called legend. Now the only thing that can be seen a little bit is the ability of Lion Fruit. Suyu shook his head. Cough cough. Golden Lion Shiki coughed up a mouthful of blood and got off to a hard start. Bastard. What on earth are you trying to do? Like I said, the Lion Fruit ability is still useful to you now. I need you to do one thing for me. Suyu said lightly. 20 jai dot 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 jai ha 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 ha. Golden Lion Shiki smiled. He finally understood the purpose of Suyu's trip. You want to subdue me for your use? Stop joking, bastard. Who do you think Lozi is? Lozi is the flying pirate Golden Lion Shiki. When Lozi was galloping across the sea, boom, the power of Dragon's Might, which is strong enough to counter the strongest conquerors, exploded. In an instant, Golden Lion Shiki's words stopped abruptly. I want to hear more than this nonsense, Suyu said quietly, under the pressure of the giant dragon at the top of the food chain. Golden Lion Shiki felt that his body and mind were trembling uncontrollably. The body instinctively wants to surrender to this incomparable dragon power. However, finally, the haughty self-esteem of being a legend freed him from the urge to submit. Thank you for your reminder. It reminds me of the most terrifying power of lion fruit. I didn't want to use it at first. The corner of Golden Lion Shiki's mouth opened in a huge arc. The moment the voice fell, huge shadows blot out the skylight. Yamato and Junti, who were fighting, suddenly raised their heads. An island keeps expanding in their pupils. Boss Shiki, boss, don't you want to? No, Captain Shiki, we will die too. Run away exclamation mark dot 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 the island is falling. The pirates of the Flying Sky group shouted in panic, and dispersed one after another. However, the huge haze of death is like a shadow. Gee ha 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 ha, no one can stop you arrogant brat. Even if you kill me now, it's too late. Let's go to hell together. The arc of Golden Lion Shiki's mouth gradually widened. How foolish you are to think that the fall of an island can wipe out the four emperors. Suyu shook his head helplessly. Even if the island is overwhelmed, the wind is still calm. Stop rambling. Die under the weight of the island. Golden Lion Shiki's eyes widened with anger. Immediately cancel the floating force acting on the island above the head. Boom. Rumble. Under the traction of gravity, the huge floating sky island capsized and fell towards to island where everyone was. Runty transformed into a pink dragon, and she was about to create a cloud of flames to support the island. Stop it, Runty. This long round. Yamato hurriedly called Junai. Of course I know this kind of thing. Runty curled her lips and returned to human form. President. Ku, accompanied by the girls' cheers, Suyu stepped into the sky stepping on the air. Black thunder and dark red flames rushed out of its body. Ang Ho, it's like a giant dragon roaring up to the sky in the dark. The phantoms of Thunder Dragon King and Flame Dragon King rushed from behind Suyu. They collided and merged with each other, and finally all of them merged into Suyu's fist. Sunning waved his fist. Boom. Punch out. The world is shaking. Time and space freeze. The world seemed to have come to a standstill at this moment. A light brighter than the sun blooms. Next second. Silently. Island. Smash, under the shocked and terrified eyes of the Golden Lion Shiki, the last and strongest ult he relied on, Island Fall became Island Smash. It's not a simple island being cracked, but a real smash. Under Suyu's ultimate's powerful punch, the entire island was crushed into fine dust, which drifted away with the wind. The sky lighted up again. The islands looming over people no longer exist, as if it never appeared. Oh, oh, oh. The president is mighty, as expected of the president. Junti and Yamato cheered in unison. Only when blowing Suyu, 
These two sisters who do not deal with each other every day will stand on the united front. Dot. Looking at the disappearing island, Golden Lion Shiki had a dull expression on his face. A storm wave called shock swept over his body and mind. In fact, he understood it in his heart. Understand the power and terror of the four emperors who rule the sea. If it's just an island, you can't win at all. He would not be too surprised that Suyu was able to smash the island. But, reduce an island to dust. No matter how you say it. Things like 640 are too exaggerated and unreal. In the cognition of Golden Lion Shiki, even the Four Emperor's White Beard, who has the strongest Paramesha Shock Fruit ability, can never do it. However, Suyu did it. What a power it is. Even if he is not restricted by the steering wheel above his head, he has not disappeared. Even now he has regained the strength of his heyday. In front of the man in front of him, he still had no power to fight back. Golden Lion, what's your answer? Suyu asked lightly. Feeling Suyu's sharp gaze, Golden Lion Shiki was shocked and finally came back to his senses. I want Lozi to be your dog, this kind of thing. Boom. The deep purple gravity suddenly fell, pressed the golden lion Shiki into the ground. Yeah, the so-called legendary self-esteem is really a troublesome thing. But forget it. Anyway, all I want is your lion fruit ability, I will take you back. Let Aaron take out your devil fruit ability. So you said casually, etc. Golden lion Shiki shouted hastily. I haven't finished my previous words. What I want to say is that this kind of thing is okay. Chapter 178 New magic. New partner. Rabbi and the Straw Hat crew. Subscribe. Sue? I thought that Golden Lion Shiki would be stubborn to the end and would rather die than surrender. I never thought about it, but suddenly it took a turn for the worse. The so-called legendary arrogance, in the face of life and death, still has to be bowed and saved. Sue waved his hand, and the gravity covering Golden Lion Shiki dissipated. Ha! Huh. Golden Lion Shiki let out a long breath. After seeing Sue's destructive power before, he no longer has the slightest thought of being an enemy in his heart. Compared with being an enemy, he wants to cooperate more. If he can cooperate with Suyu, then he is bound to be able to appear on the stage of New World again. From the very beginning, Suyu expressed his intention to come. He needs the Lion Fruit ability. Golden Lion Shiki originally intended to use this as a bargaining chip. To negotiate with Suyu at the same table, at least one must win the name of a collaborator. However, plans can't keep up with changes. Suyu didn't play his cards according to the routine at all. Very decisive is to give up on him. He misestimated his worth. If he is firm and unyielding, the opponent will take the last resort and directly strip his devil fruit ability. Regarding this point, if other people talk about White Fang, Golden Lion Shiki will not believe it. But from Suyu's mouth, Golden Lion Shiki would not have the slightest doubt. Because, for Emperor's Kaido of the Beasts is a good example. There will not be two identical fruit abilities in this world. So when I saw Ranti showing the blue dragon posture, the first thing that popped into Golden Lion Shiki's mind was that Kaido's ability was enriched. If Suyu really stripped his lion fruit ability, then he really has no use value anymore. What's more, the flying pirate has no ability to fly, and his existence itself has no meaning. Even if he could survive in the end, he would just wait miserably for the arrival of death. This is an ending that Golden Lion Shiki cannot accept anyway. A man born in this world should be able to bend and stretch. So, Golden Lion Shiki followed from his heart without hesitation. The other side. For Golden Lion's sudden change of attitude, Boshi readily accepted it. If you continue to beat, it will be too much. Also, Bao didn't care how sincere the Golden Lion's surrender was. In the face of absolute power, any conspiracy is useless. Jai ha ha ha, President, please just tell me, what do you want me to do? Golden Lion Shiki changed from the previous unruly, with a flattering smile on Bai's face. Intuition told him that Suyu must have done something earth-shattering when he came to him. At that time, he will also be able to show his face or something along the way. At this stage, your task is to sort out these islands and build them into unique holiday islands. I will come to inspect and accept them in a month's time. So you said calmly. Golden Lion Shiki. Aha, uh -huh. UF King came to me on purpose and beat me up just for vacation. Even though he felt dissatisfied, Golden Lion Shiki did not dare to show any dissatisfaction on his face. Okay, leave it to me. Golden Lion Shiki responded with a full mouth. With the surrender of Golden Lion Shiki, the purpose of Suyu's trip was successfully completed. Three days later, Suyu took Runty and Yamato back to Fairy Tail and returned to work. Time flies, in a blink of an eye, it is half a year. During these six months, whether it is paradise or new world, the Grand Line ushers in a time of unprecedented peace. The pirates are all acting like dogs with their tails between their legs not daring to be as presumptuous as before. It's all because of fairy tale. Even so, fairy tale work commissions are still completely unfinished. Except for the pirate crusade missions at sea. There are also commissions from various countries. The conflict with the nobles who were eating vegetarian meals intensified. This will also evolve into a confrontation between fairy tale, marine, and the government. Besides, half a year. 
The underground dark world is also ushered in a major reshuffle, some fall and some rise. In this shuffle event, Golden Emperor Gilda Tetsilo is undoubtedly the biggest winner. There are vague signs of becoming the master of the underground dark world, although News King Morgans has no intention of competing for other business, but because of his status as a Queen's reporter for Fairy Tale, his position has become more stable and detached. Then came Queen of the Pleasure District Stussy, who became the third biggest winner of the shuffle. Certainly. The real biggest winners in the past six months are naturally Suyu and Fairy Tail. After the Wanokini incident, reach Guild Level 20 and Fairy Tail. Now half a year later, the Guild Level has reached Level 27. This also means that Suyu has received seven upgrade rewards. There are new partners added. At the same time, there are new powerful magic. Also, in half a year's work, the strength of Nami. Vivian and others has also been greatly improved. In addition to the guild rewards for completing commissioned work, Nami and others also opened the second source of magic with the help of Arushia. Fairy Tail's combat power has risen to a big level. The guild is ushering in an unprecedented heyday. The pattern of four emperors' vigorous efforts has become a thing of the past. Nowadays, in the general cognition of the people of the world, the seers in a new era of one king and many emperors, among them, the king refers to Fairy Tail. King is Whitebeard, Bigmum, Redhead, Kildarth, etc. The old days represented by four emperors Whitebeard are a thing of the past. What follows is a new era of fairy tale. Certainly, although this has become the consensus of the people, but want to actually implement, another opportunity is needed. And, this opportunity is not too far away. Naval headquarters, Marinford. Hey hey hey, Sengoku, are you serious? Isn't it good to maintain the current peas? Why start a war? Why start a war with the Whitebeard pirates at this time? Marine here Garp clapped his hands on the marshal's desk. His old face was gloomy. Garp, please correct your position. Regarding the fact that you protected that man's blood, the higher authorities will not pursue it, so you must be conscious. Marshal Sengoku said quietly. Say Buddy Islands. It's here. Red line. The energetic little lion boat. The energetic boy in a straw hat and the shouting claws. Woo. <laughs> Uth, Sanji, the chef of the straw hats, is reluctant to leave. Well, don't look at me like that, everyone, I'm just going back to report to the president temporarily, and I will come back, after all, I'm the navigator of this ship now. The blue-haired girl Lebby grinned. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Great. Chapter 179 Celestial Dragons Incident. The straw hats are gone. Fairy tale is coming. Subscribe. See Circle Calendar September 1520. The gears of fate turn slowly. The flapping of a butterfly's wings can also cause huge changes. During the two years since Suyu traveled to this world, the trajectory of this world has been deflected, which is very different from the original. Various events such as Alabaster, Sky Island, Thriller Bark, etc. have been resolved in advance. The navigators and archaeologists of the protagonist group Straw Hat Crew have also been acquired by Suyu in advance. But, as the son of the destiny of this world, the Straw Hat pirates led by Straw Hat Luffy are still stirring up a lot of trouble in this sea. Straw Hat Crew reached the islands of Seibadi as a supernova without Nami the Voyager. There is no other reason. Just because they found a magic navigator who can't lose to Nami. Half year ago, just when Straw Hat Crew was distressed that there was no navigator and could not go to the Grand Line, appearing in front of them was Lebby the fairy tale warlock who had just been summoned to this world. After some chatting, they knew that each other's goals were grand line. Rabbi temporarily boarded the straw hat cruise boat, and relying on his own head, he mastered the knowledge of navigation in a short period of time. As a result, he became active in the world of pirates as a straw hat crew navigator. 057 actually, not long after Rabbi joined the straw hat crew, Suyu arrived at East Blue with lightning speed. But in the end, he didn't show up and acquiesced to the development. Shortly after this, Lebby and Straw Hat crew who joined the Grand Line for the first time met Urza and others who were working. In the end, Rebby did not return with Urza, but chose to continue with the Straw Hat crew. With a strong sense of responsibility, she promised to do one thing at one time, and naturally she will do it to the end. At the same time, because of Lebby's presence, Straw Hat crew has also faintly become a branch unit of Fairy Tail. Many commissions for the first half of the park were entrusted to them. It is also the accumulation of these incidents that made Straw Hat crew the most dazzling supernova lezzy this year. And, just today, Pirate Straw Hat crew, Luce Buddy's districts, under the guidance of fate, they meet the Mermaid Kami. And not surprisingly, version 2.0 of Say Buddy's Celestial Dragons event was triggered. Now that Celestial Dragons, the model worker, is being beaten, and now Charles Rose is rushing to the street. There are naturally other celestial dragons rushing to be beaten. Now, say Buddy Islands, the flames of war and gunpowder are everywhere. After a year, the island has once again become a battlefield and plunged into unprecedented chaos. Mangrove number 24 in say Buddy. The streets were in a mess under the fierce fighting. The four supernova pirates with a bounty of over 100 million, corrupt Marinex Drake, Diskin Skurak Manap, Monk Aero Uj, 
and magician Hawkins all lost and fell to the ground with serious injuries. Moses Moses, Naval Headquarters Highest Strength Admiral Kizaru pouted obscenely, Old man, where are you doing? Hurry up to Red Tree Number 12. The prisoner straw hat crew is absconding now. Marine Science Corps Captain Sinmamaru urged, Not long, Admiral Kizaru descended on Red Tree Number 12. The straw hat crew, already in deep danger, is getting worse at the moment. Zora, dangerous. Zora is dangerous. Seeing his partners are locked by Admiral Kizaru, Captain Luffy couldn't help screaming in panic. Usopp and Brooke, who were near Zora, tried their best to save them. However, their attack was such that Kakuzu couldn't even touch Admiral Kizaru's clothes. Attacks without Haki attached are futile in front of Lodia ability users. Seeing that Admiral Kizaru's light speed kick was about to fall. On the nick of time, a figure rushed out. Stop the terrifying Admiral Kizaru. The person who came here was the legend who became acquainted with Straw Hat Crew in the auction not long ago. Pluton Rayleigh. Kakf, however, even with Rayleigh blocking Admiral Kizaru. The situation remains dire for Straw Hat crew. They still have to face the powerful Senmamaru and the pacifists. Now that the physical strength is greatly exhausted, the chances of winning are almost zero. Everyone, we will never be able to beat these people. Now just find a way. Captain Luffy gave the order to flee without hesitation. The eight members split into three groups and fled desperately, but still to no avail. The seriously injured Zora was locked on by a pacifist and was about to die. Wait, PX1. A gentle voice suddenly sounded from behind Usopp and the others. The real Shikai Bukai, the tyrant Bartholomew Bear, finally appears. If you want to travel, where do you want to go? Tyrant Ksung said gently, and took her off his gloves at the same time. There is no time to say anything. There is no time to do anything. With the palm of the tyrant bear's meatball, it fell. Straw Hat Swordsman Zora disappeared without a trace. Be the first to leave the battlefield. Zora, Straw Hat Luffy's piercing shouts filled the sky. Before the Straw Hat recovered from the shock of Zora being shot flying. T. The tyrant bear's figure flashed. Paramisha's meatball fruit abilities were activated one after another. After accepting Straw Hat Crew's invitation at Gemini Cape, Brook, who sailed again, disappeared. Then there's Usopp, then Sanji the angry chef, Frankie the boatman. Wowo, Chopper, who ate three Rambo balls and entered a runaway state, was still easily shot by the tyrant bear. The time before and after is just a few breaths. Only the Captain Luffy and the Navigator Lebby remained on the battlefield. Stop, stop, stop. I told you to stop. Witness important partners disappearing from sight one by one. The Captain, Luffy, was on the verge of collapse, and turned on the second gear desperately. For the last Navigator Lebby challenges the tyrant bear. However, in the face of absolute strength, anger is useless. By now, Shikai Bukai tyrant bear raised his big hand and swung it down towards Obi. Next second, without warning, a huge gap opened in the ground. Towering trees rose from the ground, separating tyrant bear from Rebi. Lion Star. Shock. The bright and dazzling lion light lit up in the sky, and the chest pacifists hit the spot. Ace's brother, here I come. A girl with a mace fell from the sky. That's it for now. The sword is shining, and Elsa Haki, the fairy queen, is pointing at Admiral Kizaru. Chapter 180 Huang ran and broke his leg again. Sue you and Straw Hat Luffy. Subscribe. The spaceship flew across the sky and landed on the land of Seibadi, casting a shadow on the earth. Swish, 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 swish. A series of heroic Shuang figures descended from the sky. Surround the tearful Rebi. Hey, hey, are you kidding me? Admiral Kizaru, naval headquarters highest combat power, stared wide-eyed, and his wretched old face no longer had the usual calmness and composure. Instead, only strong shock. Horror and disbelief emerged. Oyeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
with a clear goal. Since President Suyu insists on this, I can only accompany you to the end. Come on, Admiral Kizaru shines with his right foot. I lost to you in the light speed kick last time, but this time it's different. Master, Zan Tawan's eyes became rounder. Never imagined. The most slippery old man Kizaru ever. He really dared to show his sword to the strongest man in the world. Admiral Kizaru's figure flashed, and he controlled the opponent with his hair. The right leg, which was brighter than the sun, fell down with tremendous force. Suyu didn't dodge or dodge, kicking and kicking, raging. A dark red flame spirals around its right leg. Boom, flash and explosion. Two violent forces collided. The land of number 12 mangrove fell due to the terrifying force. The stalemate is only a short moment. Next second, there was only a whoosh. The atmosphere produces a cloud of terrifying sonic booms. A golden figure flew backwards at a speed exceeding the sound. Just like a year ago. Alas, alas, father. Zan Tawant screamed in shock, and hurriedly turned around and ran away with the remaining pacifists. Only you don't try to escape. The straw hat kid suddenly extended his left hand and wrapped the Shikai Bukai tyrant bear around. Hurry up and return my partner to me. His right arm stretched back suddenly about to launch a fierce attack on the immobile tyrant bear. However, next second, without warning, time stood still. Stupid straw hat, what do you want to do to his father? A girl with long pink hair stepped out of the sky. Before the straw hat boy's attack landed, Riz slender hand slapped him on the body. In an instant, the straw hat's body shrinks, eventually turned into a child of a few years old. Huh? Luffy Luffy turned into a child. Rebby exclaimed in surprise. By the way, is this bear-like guy the father of a guildmate? Yeah, that's why I said don't worry. Bonnie's dad is an ally too. Mirajan nodded. But everyone from the previous Straw Hat crew. You Straw Hat crew guys are fine, daddy just shot them flying. Zero looking for flowers. Bonnie said seriously. Real? Little Luffy and Lebby's eyes lit up immediately. Sorry, Miss By has Luffy. Shikai Bukai tyrant bear gentle opening. It was a helpless move to shoot your partners away before. Only in this way can we send you away from the island where Admiral is located. Of course, looking at it now, I think it's unnecessary. If you know that Chairman Suyu will come. You don't need me to take action. Tyrant Bear explained. That's right. Rebby nodded lightly, accepting Tyrant Bear's explanation. And what about my friends? Where is everyone now? Little Luffy asked anxiously. I know the location, but the distance between each other is not close. Sorry, everyone is scattered all over the sea. Zero. The Tyrant Bear apologized. Why is it like this? Little Luffy suddenly looked depressed. No problem, Ace's younger brother. We have fairy tale here and we will find your partner in minutes. Yamato patted his chest and assured. Real? Little Luffy's expression immediately brightened again. You are the captain of Lebby, we can give priority to your entrustment. Urza nodded. So, Straw Hat. Suyu walked up to Little Luffy. Gudong Tilda. Looking at Suyu who kicked Admiral away with his kick before, even the Straw Hat boy who was fearless could not help swallowing nervously at this moment. Now do you think you have the power to challenge New World? Suyu asked back. Dot. It's the first and last time that Admiral has no power to fight back. If you can't protect Rebby, then I won't allow her to continue walking with you, Suyu said. As Suyu's voice fell, silence followed. I don't know how long it has been. I will definitely become stronger. Little Luffy clenched his fists and spoke seriously. What you say is not proven. Prove it to me. Suyu grinned. I'll give you two years. After two years, if you Straw Hat crew can have enough power, then I won't stop you. Dot 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 10,000. Chapter 181. On the top day. Declare war on the world! Exclamation mark subscribe! 3D2Y! Say goodbye to Say Buddy after two years! According to the original plotline, this will only happen after the Straw Hat Boy has experienced the Cruel Summit War, witnessed the death of his brother, and knows his own weakness. Now, as the head of the fairy tale family, Suyu skipped the extra steps and made a two-year contract with the Straw Hat Boy. Taking advantage of Straw Hat crew being slapped away by the tyrant Xa, bringing Lebby back to the team was originally Suyu's goal. Say it. Without waiting for the straw hat boy to answer, Suyu took all the fairy tale girls back to the boat directly. The president is so handsome. The former president is like a big head. That's right. It's like a father who prevents his daughter from getting married. Juvia, Wendy and the others chatted and talked a lot. Is that straw hat kid okay? Nami looked back at 457 and stared blankly at the straw hat boy standing there, with worry in his eyes. It must be fine. Robin patted Nami on the shoulder. It's unbelievable to say that it's the first time we've met but I always feel that there's a slight connection between me and that straw hat kid. I feel that he will never be defeated. Well, does Robin feel the same way? Nami said in surprise. Speaking of which, I feel the same way, Vivi said. Well, is everyone too? Rebecca and Shira Hashi also felt it. Ha ha ha, Ace's younger brother Luffy. It seems that it's not just me. Everyone has expectations for you. If you say it, you can do it every day. Yamato patted Luffy on the shoulder carelessly. Oh, finally. The straw hat boy came back to his senses and clenched his fist firmly. Luffy, goodbye. Rebecca waved goodbye reluctantly. Lebby, I will definitely pass the test and bring you back, said straw hat Luffy. Then work hard, 
straw hat, so you grinned, as the destiny child of this world, possesses the Yudman's Nika fruit dubbed the title of Sun God, Bao never doubted the future of the straw hat boy, only, this era can no longer wait for Nika's awakening, because, the time has come, the day the top starts is when Tsuyu declares war on the world, with fairy tail gone, Rayleigh and straw hat Luffy are the only ones left in the huge number 12 mangrove tree, Luffy, don't worry, I will be in charge of teaching you to become stronger for the past two years. Rayleigh patted the straw hat on the shoulder. Of course, Rayleigh will not sit idly by for this son of destiny who has inherited Roger's hat. Please, Rayleigh, straw hat Luffy didn't say number. But what are you going to do over there? Leave that to Shaki. This moment, Naval Headquarters, Marinford, Marshal Sengoku, green-haired Commodore Brandon's almost loud shouts came from the corridor. Hearing this familiar and urgent voice, Marshal Sengoku couldn't help but thump, feeling ominous, as expected. Report. Marshal, just now, news came from Sebadi that all members of Fairy Tail, who disappeared from New World a few days ago, appeared on the islands of Sebadi. Green haired Commodore Brandon Road. Sure enough, it's related to Fairy Tail again. Marshal Sengoku covered his face with his hands. Where's Pelusalino? How is he? According to Zan Tamaru, Kizaru Admiral was defeated in the battle with four Emperor Suyu, and his whereabouts are unknown now. Brandon replied. That's it. It's gone. Marshal Sengoku hangs a heart down. He knows best about Admiral Kizaru's slippery personality. Last time, he retreated with one blow and saved himself from Suyu's hands. Thinking about it this time, it shouldn't be a big deal. At most, a few broken bones. For its own combat power, there will be no impact. This is already the best result. Nowadays, the public execution announcement of Fire Fist Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates' second team, has been officially announced to the world. At this critical juncture of an all-out war with the Whitebeard Pirates, an admiral force is enough to have a huge impact on the outcome of a battle. Pass my order, from now on, pay close attention to the movements of the Sea Emperors of the New World, especially Fairy Tail. Marshal Sengoku said in a deep voice. Yes, the green-haired Commodore Brandon stepped back, but not long. Marshal Sengoku, it's not good. Just now, Fairy Tail left the islands of Sebadi and has disappeared. An anxious report from Commodore Brandon. Marshal Sengoku, Sea Circle Calendar 1520, Autumn. The gears of fate turn slowly. The bell of the changing times is ringing. Ten days later, at Naval Headquarters Marinford, public execution of Fire Fist Ace, captain of Whitebeard Pirates' second team. As soon as this news came out, everyone in the world was shocked. From the first half of Paradise to New World, countless pirates and all major forces are shocked by it. Hey, hey. Are you kidding me? Is Marine serious? Public execution of Fire Fist Ace, Captain of the Whitebeard Pirates Second Division. What exactly is Marine trying to do? Marine, is this openly provoking that man? The strongest man in the world? No. No, this is not a provocation. This is Marine's declaration of war against the Whitebeard Pirates. Marine is finally going to war with the Emperor of the Sea. This battle, if Marine wins, how exciting it will be. Ha 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 ha. Interesting. It's really interesting. Undoubtedly, this event will bring about a huge change in the pattern of the world. Ten more days. I'm 3.5 and can't wait to see the battle between Marine and Four Emperors Whitebeard. The era of Whitebeard is over, and the new era belongs to Fairy Tail. Speaking of which, has there ever been an alliance between the Whitebeard Pirates and Fairy Tail? If Fairy Tail also joins the battle, no. Absolutely not. Fairy Tail has never been allied with Whitebeard. But, I have a hunch that Fairy Tail will not remain silent in this big event. Suyu, the super overlord of the four emperors of King's Landing New World, in what capacity will he participate in this big event? This war is really getting more and more exciting. The world will change dramatically because of this. Chapter 182 Whitebeard's Expedition. Sabo joins the battle. Subscribe. New World. Sphinx. Decades ago, it used to be just an inconspicuous island above the sea. Poverty. Backwardness and chaos are the truest portrayals here. But now, the island has been transformed. The residents on the island live and work in peace and contentment and live a prosperous life. All this is only because of the big man who walked out of the island. This is the hometown of the four emperors Whitebeard, who ruled the sea for decades. This moment, Sphinx Coast. The huge whale ship moored quietly. The ship's name is Moby Dick. Four emperors Whitebeard pirates mothership. Spacious deck. At that time, the 72-year-old emperor of the sea, the world's strongest man Whitebeard Edward Newgate Harkey sat upright his whole body imposing, even the whole deck, the whole ship, and even the atmosphere of this world are all suppressed by it, all because of a big event news that has just spread around the world. Ten days later, at naval headquarters, Firefistace, the captain of Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division, 
was publicly executed. Clatter Tilda. The calm sea suddenly set off violent waves. Clouds suddenly covered the clear sky. Then it exploded in a split second. The extremely suppressed atmosphere exploded accordingly. Wow Tilda. There was an uproar on the whale boat. Unbelievable. Ace. Captain Ace was captured by Marine. A member of the second squad looked dull and murmured unconsciously. Teach that bastard dot 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 is he trading Ace for Shikai Bukai's identity. Team 7th team captain Lakio gritted his teeth. Ace is the captain of the second team. How could he lose to teach? More players could not accept this reality. Is it really because Ace doesn't have Mera Mera fruit? If it was Ace before, teach can definitely be solved easily. Yizang, the captain of the 16th division, looked slightly gloomy. After all, Ace lost his devil fruit ability for Wanokini which has always made him feel very sorry. It's not because of Devil Fruit. Even if Ace doesn't have the ability of Mera Mera Fruit, his skills are still outstanding, and I believe that in the past six months, Ace's Haki will definitely develop rapidly. Marco, the captain of the first team Phoenix, spoke. But, Ace still lost in the end, it really was said by the red-haired guy. Fifth Division Captain Foilfister clenched his fists. That guy Teach has been hiding his strength. With his strength and qualifications, he could have become the captain long ago. But, the captain of the third team, Diamond Kie Ozi, had a serious expression on his face. Teach that bastard, hiding under Papa's banner, for a certain purpose. No, it should be said for that devil fruit, all because of the devil fruit that Sage got that day. Damn it, what kind of ability is that to make a person do such insane things as mutilate his partner? Captains, now is not the time to talk about these things. The most important thing is Captain Ace's business. Marine dared to do such a thing, even dared to publicly execute Captain Ace. This is Kaiguago's provocation. Bastard Marine. Who do they think they are provoking? Make sure they know the price of provoking us. That's right, we are the Whitebeard Pirates. Although we have kept a low profile these years, it doesn't mean we are easy to mess with. Must make Marine regret it. Regret doing such a thing. Everyone in the Baichun, whether it was the captain or the team members, was filled with righteous indignation. The roar full of fighting intent and anger was earth-shattering, causing the sea to stir up waves. But, no matter what they think, only one person can really make the decision. Everyone in the white group headed by Marco locked their eyes on Whitebeard. Cool la 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 la. The strongest man in the world, for Emperor's Whitebeard and Edward Newgate stand tall. The loud laughter shook the world in all directions. This is a war you started, Marine, Sengoku. Since you want to play, then Lozi will definitely accompany you to the end. Little ones, get ready, it's going to be an all-out war. High drink from four Emperor's Whitebeard Haki. You 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 the war has begun. Wake up, Marine. The Whitebeard pirates were full of enthusiasm and fighting spirit. With only ten days left until Ace's public execution, every second must be raced. The whale ship Moby Dick moved immediately. At the same time, the captains headed by Mark also acted separately, contacting the living room. In addition to the four auxiliary ships of the regiment, there are also the New World Pirates under Whitebeard's command. Since Marine launched the war this time, it must have been fully prepared. Then their Whitebeard pirates must also go all out and mobilize all the forces that can be mobilized. For a while, the telephone buzz of the intelligence and liaison department is endless. I've also seen the situation from the news. Damn Marine, damn teach absolutely can't spare them. I switch pay was the first to respond. Marco, tell dad, we're already on our way to paradise. Ranger in the road. Brother Dyke Calban is already in place. Please give me your instructions. Saving Ace, how can we miss our great Eddie Spider Pirates? The previous one Okini War, we failed to catch up. But this time, my big knife is already hungry and thirsty. 417, Ace is very gentle, must be rescued. Whitebeard's 43 Pirates responded without exception. The rain is about to come and the wind is everywhere. Isle of White Clay, Baltico, Revolutionary Army, Base Camp Base. I'm going. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ace is my brother. How can I watch him be executed by Marine? In the conference room of a headquarters, Sabo, the young chief of staff of the Revolutionary Army, stood up and stopped drinking firmly. Calm down, Sabo. We understand your feelings, but it's a meeting now. Below Betty, commander of the Eastern Army, said little Sabo. Don't worry, Mr. Long didn't tell you not to go. The captain of the Western Army, the giant Shemal Mori, spoke soothingly. Mr. Dragon. Sabo looked at the leader dragon expectantly. This is an all-out war between the four emperors and the marines. From the standpoint of the revolutionary army, I cannot give you enough support. Sabo, you must be clear about this. Revolutionary Long said in a deep voice. I know, even if it's just me, I still have to go. Sabo nodded firmly. Don't worry, Sabo, Callas, Mori, Lindbergh, you three go with Sabo. The leader Long Dao. Yes. Mr. Long. Chapter 183 Kaido enters Cake Island and forms an alliance with Big Mum subscription. New World. IWC. Toto Land. The headquarters of the four Emperor's Big Mum pirates. This moment. Cake Island Castle Hall. Four Emperor's Big Mum Charlotte Lin Lin sits on the throne. In the lower position, Katagori, Smoothie, and Cracker stand in turn. Below that are the eldest son Prospero, 
the fourth son Owen and other ministers and carders of the Big Mom Pirates. Mom, this time the Whitebeard Pirates and Marine are in an all-out war, the defense must be empty, it is a good time for us to take action to expand the territory of Pelorian. The eldest son Prospero remonstrated. Brother Bros is right. In my opinion, this war, the Whitebeard Pirates must be in danger. When Whitebeard falls, his territory is useless. Now we should act first. Owen. Baron Denton and other ministers and carders echoed one after another. Brothers, it is not sure whether Whitebeard will really fight. After all, that Firefist Ace is just a newcomer who joined the Whitebeard pirates for several years. The 19th son Mundell spoke. Indeed, to start a war with Marine, you must gamble everything. It is not worthwhile to ruin the foundation of the Whitebeard pirates for so many years just for one person. General Smoothie said, if one of them was captured by the Marine and publicly executed, Big Mom pirates will never go to war with Marine just because of one person. At best take down a few marine bases as revenge. No, that old man Whitebeard will definitely go. Well, well. For Emperor's big mom Charlotte Linlin laughed. So, mother, we. The eldest son Prospero did not finish his sentence. Next second, only a loud bang was heard. The huge cake island was shocked. Shocked shouts from the big mom pirates and the miscellaneous fish came and went. What the hell happened? Chinksing smoothies complexion changed. Beckmus, let's go out and have a look. Baron Eggy greeted him, and immediately ran with his long legs. However, don't wait for them to go out. Boom. The gate of the cake castle was violently blasted open. The terrifying power caused Baron Eggy and Beckmuth to fly backwards. Hey, Linlin, the world is about to start to be in turmoil, and the war between Marine and Whitebeard will become the fuse of a new era. Do you want to continue to be content with the status quo, or join hands with me to win that winning streak? A piece of great secret treasure? For Emperors Kaido of the Beasts walked into the cake hall with a mace on their shoulders. Behind him, Ember of Flame Calamity strode to follow. Nanny. Kaido. Kaido of the Beasts and Fire Embers. This guy Kaido is still alive? No. Kaido's death has never been reported in the world. But, if he is still alive, what about the green dragon and fairy tale? Dot 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 the pink dragon. There shouldn't be two identical devil fruit abilities in this world. No no no. This is not the point now. Kaido dot 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 that Kaido has come to our territory. Seeing Kaido of the Beasts and Flame Calamity Ember breaking in suddenly. All the ministers and carders of Big Mom Pirates could not help but lose their voices in shock. Next second, clang, pat. There was the sound of bullets being loaded and the sound of swords being unsheathed. Even facing the terrifying former four emperors, Kaido of the Beasts, the Big Mom Pirates are also fearless and dare to show their swords. Everyone stop, Katabury. The second in command of the Big Mom Pirates, stopped him. Kaido, Jin, what are you trying to do by trespassing on the territory of my Big Mom Pirates? The eldest son Prospero asked sharply. Kaido of the Beasts didn't pay attention. His eyes just fell on Big Mum from the beginning to the end. Well, well, Kaido, you, like that redhead, have become a one-armed man. Finally, for Emperor's Big Moy Charlotte Lin Lin was no longer silent. So, I'm curious, where's your left arm? Kaido of the Beast's complexion sank. By the way, I remembered, your left arm was removed by that little ghost from Fairy Tale. Oh, oh, oh. The four Emperor's Big Mum laughed wantonly. Lin Lin, I'm not here to talk nonsense with you. Kaido of the Beasts said in a deep voice. Smelly brother, what's your attitude? For Emperor's Big Mum's gaze sank, and a gleam flashed in his eyes. Last time I was kind and wanted to help you, but you didn't appreciate it at all. In the end, you suffered a disastrous defeat and shrank like a turtle for half a year. Now you come to my sight and speak nonsense. Even the base camp is you who have been captured. What qualifications do you have to talk about joining forces with me now? That's right, that's right. What mom said is right. Kaido of the beasts, you are no longer four emperors. You lost to fairy tale, and now you're nothing more than a lost dog. You are not even the four emperors. What qualifications do you have to join forces with our four emperors big mom pirates? What is your identity, and what are our identities? Give me a good understanding. All the carders of the armed group were bossy and scolded again and again. It's really noisy. Boom. The mace in Kaido of the beasts hands fell heavily to the ground. Boom. A large crater exploded in the ground. The incomparable overlord's breath is centered on Kaido and scattered in all directions. In an instant, the world was quiet. Well, well, it's really getting more and more unscrupulous, Kaido. For Emperor's Big Mom got up, raising his hand, Napoleon Homes, Nuo Lizao, Lun, the two-cornered hat, turned into a sword and fell into the hands of Big Mom. At the same time, Thunderclouds Zeus and the little sun Prometheus rose against the wind, releasing terrifying berserk power. Then let me try. Do you have the qualifications to join forces with me? Boom. Rumble. Above the Cake Island. God. There was a gap. Half a day later. Cake Island Tea Party Venue. Four Emperors Kaido of the Beasts and Four Emperors Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin shoulder to shoulder, looking like good siblings. Little ones, we Big Mom Pirates and Beasts Pirates. 
decided to form a pirate alliance here. Four Emperor Spigmum Charlotte Linlin and Kaido of the Beasts announced in unison. Cooperate first to win the world. Let's save the fight for later. Well, alas. Chapter 184 New Partners, Yanti Jura, Fugitora Smile Subscription. Time flies. There is still one week until the public execution of the Whitebeard Pirates Second Division Captain Firefist Ace. New World. Red Force. Red Hair Pirates. Boss. Boss. Another big event happened. Red Group newcomer Rockstar stared why it died, with shock and horror on his face. What's the matter? Asked Sniper Yasup. What could be a greater event in today's seas than the Marine vs. Whitebeard War? Navigator Bendix spoke. Did Fairy Tail do something again? The little fat man Ray Zairi took a bite of the big bone in his hand, his face full of anticipation. No dot 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 no, not Fairy Tail, it's four Emperor Spigmum and four Emperors dot 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 no, Kaido of the Beasts. Kaido of the Beasts who disappeared for nearly half a year has been confirmed to appear in Big Mom's Wongo, seems to have formed a pirate alliance with four Emperors Big Maw, exclaimed the rookie rock star. Nanny, what did you say? Big Mom and Kaido are allied. Everyone in the red group couldn't help being surprised. Whitebeard and Marine, Big Mom and Kaido the chaos of the sea can no longer be stopped. Oh why no? Ben Beckman, the deputy captain of the red regiment, said quietly. Fairy tale, where and what are you doing now? Four Emperors red haired shanks looked up to the sky. Anyway. We can't do nothing. Naval Headquarters, Maringford. Marine High Level Meeting. Marshal Sengoku, it has been confirmed that the former Four Emperors Kaido of the Beasts did appear in Four Emperors Big Mom's Ten Thousand Kingdoms, and the two sides have formed a pirate alliance. Reporting to the Marshal, just now, the Four Emperors Red Hair Pirates also started to act, all surveillance ships have been sunk, and the Four Emperors Red Hair is missing. Mr. Sengoku, something is wrong. The ship we sent to track down the Kilda's pirates encountered a strange incident, and now the Kildarth pirates have disappeared. Bad news ensued. This moment, Marshal Sengoku is numb all over. After the Wanokini incident, the four emperors Kaido of the Beasts and the main force of the pirates were defeated by Fairy Tail. Kaido of the Beasts was stripped of the title of four emperors and disappeared. Kai, but, the marine side did not let down their vigilance against Kaido. Even without Wanokini, the Beasts pirates have another stronghold above the sea and a force of tens of thousands. After half a year of development, today's beasts pirates already have more than 70% of their peak power. Although the main cadres of the hundred beasts were defeated in the Wanokuni battle, but as long as Kaido himself is around, the beasts pirates will remain one of the greatest threats at sea. Big Mom and Kaido. These two guys are actually allied, it's almost like the rocks, the army of evil 36 years ago, came back. Admiral candidate Mo Mausagi Giant murmured in shock. Hey, hey, Giant. Don't say such terrible things. Admiral's candidate Kate Cake shivered suddenly. Compared to Big Mum's alliance with Kaido. What I want to know more now is the where did the Kilders tent gang come from? Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Hyosha Shan looks dignified. Kilders, the smash king who destroyed the hive of Pirate Island by himself is undoubtedly enough to be ranked among the emperors of the sea, and the rock Kai Jura who walked with him after that is also not as strong as a human being, and there is also the blind the swordsman smiled. Really, when did the sea have so many unheard of monsters? No. I don't care about the others for the time being, but that blind swordsman Yixiao didn't appear out of thin air, it has been recorded before. By the way, what about Fairy Tail? Haven't heard from them yet? In the conference room, all the top executives of Marine were talking about it. About Fairy Tail, Xiao He, what happened to that? Marshal Sengok looked at the Grand Admiral Vice Admiral Crane. The entrustment has already been sent, but there is no response yet. I want to win them over to help out. The Vice Admiral Crane shook his head. It's okay, we don't need their help. Just in case. This moment, Fairy Tale Resort. The original Golden Lion floated Sky Island. Today's Fairy Tale is still on a leisurely vacation. Designed by Golden Lion Shiki, his floating Sky Island has changed from a ferocious beast breeding base to a private resort island of the Fairy Tale Guild. There are all kinds of weather, scenery, and entertainment facilities. But, no matter how luxurious and interesting it is, the person who is the core is not there. Naturally, not much fun. Where did the president go? Juvia pursed her mouth and sighed. If the president says, there must be something urgent, Urza said. But, when I saw the president this morning, I felt that the president was walking a little fluttering. Could it be that he has a cold? Vivi frowned worriedly. How is it possible? How could a person with such a strong personality catch a cold? Perona waved her hands again and again. Makes sense. Vivi nodded and nodded, then turned to look at the best friend beside her. Nami, do you know what's going on? R? Me? I don't know either. What's going on? Nami turned his head quickly and whistled. Robin, Myra, Khalifa, Runty. Arushia, Violet and others also turned their heads one after another. In the past three days, the sisters are of the same mind, taking turns to fight, vowing to defeat the big boss. As a result, for three days, so you didn't stop for almost a moment, without any time to rest. Every time a job is done, someone will take over immediately, 
24 hours a day, even when we eat together. Under the dining table, there are also a few Hesse's little feet playing restlessly. Miss Myra. The president really ran away, maybe we went too far. Nami whispered. How come? That's the president, and the president himself said that we can come here, Myra said. At this time, everyone, something is wrong. Yamato suddenly screamed anxiously and ran over. Chapter 185 Rayleigh. Really. What? Ace is my eldest nephew! Exclamation mark subscribe! Everyone, something is wrong! Yamato yelled in a panic. What happened? Is something wrong with the president? What happened to the president? A group of fairy tale girls rushed forward nervously. No dot 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 it's not the president. This is the newspaper from three days ago. Ace. Ace was caught by Marine and will be publicly executed. Yamato's face was full of tension and anxiety. What? So this is it? What a fuss, Yamato. Run said indifferently. Don't say that, Run is. Ace is. My friend, Yamato said seriously, Ace is the first friend she made in this world. Now seeing that Ace was arrested and about to be executed, Yamato will naturally not be indifferent. This Ace is on Whitebeard's ship. He is going to be publicly executed. The Whitebeard pirates will be in charge. Don't make any trouble. Runty waved her hand. I didn't expect this kind of thing to happen when we were on vacation. Now, the war between Marine and the Whitebeard pirates is inevitable. Robin frowned. Rabbi. How do you decide? Mirajan asked. Ace. Ace of the Whitebeard Pirates is Luffy's older brother. An anxious look appeared on Luffy's face involuntarily. What should I do? If Luffy knew, she would. Calm down, Lebby. Don't worry, the president must have already known about this. Erza quickly comforted her. That's right. The president must already know. Perhaps this is why the president left this morning. Because I wanted us to enjoy our vacation. I didn't say anything. The fairy tale girls spoke one after another. Since we already know, naturally we can't let the president be busy alone. We are fairy tale, Myra said seriously. Um, all the girls nodded. Calm belt, the nine snakes daughter country, pirate empress Boa middle. Hancock, I convey to you the government's extraordinary summoning order. Now leave immediately and follow me to naval headquarters to join the battle and fulfill Shikai Bukai's obligations. Naval headquarters elite vice admiral said in a deep voice. The concubine refuses. Pirate Queen Boa Hancock refused. Without hesitation. Pirate Empress. If you refuse, your Shikai Bukai title may be stripped. The Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel didn't finish his sentence. No, no, even if I don't go to the concubine body, I will still be Shikai Bukai, because the concubine body is so beautiful. The Pirate Queen Boa Hancock spoke proudly. Marum Romello. The Pink Petrification Ray petrifies all sailors who eliminate the Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel. Not long. Daughter Country. Castle Tower, Snake Princess, what are you thinking? Sour Plum Face told woman Gloriosa broke in violently. That night, Pirate Empress, have you decided? The Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel solemnly looked at the re-arrived Empress Hancock. I have a problem with myself. Empress Hancock spoke. In this war, Sue dot 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 will fairy tail appear? Um? The Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel was taken aback. I don't know the specifics, but Marshal Sengoku has indeed sent a commission to fairy tail. That is to say, does this concubine have a chance to be with Sue dot 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 and fairy tale? Empress Hancock asked. Oh, look at this possibility. The Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel nodded blankly. In that case, let's go. Empress Hancock arrives. Well? The Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel is completely dumbfounded. Even if he thought about it, he couldn't figure it out. What does this Shikai Bukai call have to do with fairy tale? Time flies. Another four days in a blink of an eye. Say buddy islands. Thirteenth red tree. Jingle bell tilde. Shaki. We're back. Rayleigh pushed the door open and entered. Ah, welcome back. How is little monkey's practice? Shaki brought the wine to Rayleigh. Luffy is really talented. Rayleigh nodded appreciatively. In just one week, Straw Hat Luffy has already completed the progress from zero to one. Initially comprehended the power of Conqueror's Haki and succeeded in getting started. Next, I will take Luffy to continue advanced training, and this time I may go out for a longer time. Rayleigh took a sip of his wine and said casually, That's right. You can leave in three days, Shaki said. In three days? Why? Rayleigh was puzzled. Old, don't you know what happened recently? Shaki said as he handed a newspaper to Rayleigh. After reading the above reports, even Rayleigh couldn't help but gasp. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Dot 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 zero. Hey hey, is Marine serious? Going to war with the Whitebeard pirates? They don't want naval headquarters anymore? Rayleigh's eyes widened in shock. Whitebeard, it sounds familiar. The straw hat boy who was concentrating on practicing hockey at the side tilted his head and suddenly realized, ah, I remembered, the Whitebeard Pirates is where Ace is, they are going to fight Marine, so, is Ace going too? Straw Hat Luffy asked hastily, it's not a question of whether to go or not, fire for Stace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates second team, is the fuse of this war, Shaki said, huh, what's wrong with Ace, Straw Hat Luffy doesn't understand, fire for Stace has been arrested by Marine and will be publicly executed in naval headquarters in three days, zero, Shaki replied, speaking of which, what is your relationship with Fire Fist? 
little monkey. Why are you so close? Without waiting for Shaki to finish speaking. Next second, Ace. Ace is my brother. Straw Hat Luffy had an unprecedented look of panic on his face. Well, Ace dot 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 such a powerful Ace. How could he be caught by Marine? The Straw Hat Kid whispered in despair. Whitebeard's Ace is your brother, little monkey. Shaki spoke in a daze. Ace Ace is going to be executed. No, how can it go on like this? I'm going. I have to save him now. Straw Hat Luffy stood up abruptly. Calm down, Luffy. This is not something you can participate in. Rayleigh held Luffy in the straw hat with one hand. B. It's okay, little monkey. The Whitebeard pirates will never let their partners be killed and remain indifferent. Besides, the same goes for the Revolutionary Army. Your father will never just sit back and watch his son be executed. Shaki analyzed. But. Ace is not my father's son, said Straw Hat Luffy. Well, Rayleigh and Shaki froze again. Ace and I are sworn brothers and Ace's biological father is the One Piece King Roger. Straw Hat Luffy reveals this shocking secret that no one knows. As his voice fell, the huge bar instantly fell into a deathly silence. After a while, Nanny, Ace is my eldest nephew. Dot. Chapter 186 Brothers Meet Again. Luffy Sabo join hands. Subscribe. Nanny, Luffy, are you kidding me? Ace, Ace is Roger's son. Ripping off the bar, the man known as Pluton suddenly stood up. The old face was filled with extreme shock, astonishment and disbelief. Suddenly he found out that his best friend Roger had a son. Even the legendary big pirate can't be calm. That far-fist haste turned out to be Roger's son. Wait a moment, Luffy, your grandfather is Garp, that is to say, Ace. The son of One Piece grew up under Garp's supervision. Shaki realized the shocking truth. Um, Straw Hat Luffy nodded. It's unbelievable that the son of One Piece was brought up by a marine hero. Is this the so-called heroic sympathy? Shaki sighed and sighed 310. By the way, Lao. Don't you know anything about Roger having a son? I have no idea. Rayleigh shook his head. Roger never told us. No, this should have happened after our pirate group disbanded. But Rayleigh frowned slightly. Memories of the long past come to mind. That was the final stage of their journey. Go to the final island of Raftal, and he and Roger, who can see all the truth, talked about the future. Who is the person who can lead the world to change in the future? What is it like? At that time Roger said with a smile, if there is such a person, it must be his child. Rayleigh only took Roger as a joke and teased him as a 10,000 years single dog, who didn't even have a wife, and even said he had children. Never thought, rip off the bar. The shock continued. At the same time, say Buddy Islands, Mangrove Port Number 44, an inconspicuous merchant ship slowly docked. The young blonde youth wearing a gentleman's top hat jumped off the boat first. Number 13 Mangrove in Say Buddy Islands, Shaki's ripped off bar. Sabo whispered softly. This is the guidance he got from Koala. Ten days ago, Sabo, who learned that the leader Long Yunk, immediately set off with the commander of the three armies. But, how to rescue Ace is the biggest problem. Sabo is very aware of the horrors of Impel Down, the deep sea prison where Ace is now. So even though he desperately wanted to save Ace, he didn't ask to go to Impel Down to rob prison. At a loss, Sabo thought of Koala who has now joined Fairy Tail. Certainly, Koala alone has limited strength. What Sabo really wants to ask for help is Suyu, who is the president, and Fairy Tail. I am also well aware of the purpose of Sabo's contact, after a simple reassurance. Koala gave Sabo an address and pointed out the direction for him. So now Sabo will come to the islands of Seibadi. Speaking of which, I've heard of this rip-off bar. It's very famous in the underground world. The Onyxiaxian's intelligence skills are amazing. Confederate Army Commander Lindbergh told what he knew. Intelligence? It's just that what we lack now is not intelligence, but the power to fight against naval headquarters. Sabo gave a wry smile. Although I don't know why Koala wants us to go to this bar. But let's go there. Northern Army Commander Kara's Road. 13th Red Tree. Rip off the bar. Old, have you really decided? Shaki looked at Rayleigh seriously. Ah, Rayleigh nodded firmly. Of course I also know that Ace is now a member of the Whitebeard Pirates and has his own partner. Now I have no position. But, now that I know about this, since I already know that Ace is Roger's son, as an elder, I can't stand by and watch. Your opponent this time is the total combat power of the naval headquarters. It is stronger than any enemy you have encountered so far. I have received news that as early as a month ago, Marine has already started preparations and mobilized from all over the world. The elites are assembled. Shaki reminded. Don't worry, of course I will do what I can. This time Whitebeard is the main attacker, and I will be the insurance for now. Rayleigh Road. Shaki shook his head, no longer discouraging, knowing that Rayleigh had already made up his mind. Rayleigh Rayleigh. I'm going to. Definitely going to save Ace. Going now. Straw Hat Luffy triple shore opening. Luffy, that battlefield is too early for you. You'd better wait here. We will ensure the safety of Ace. Rayleigh persuaded. No, no. Ace is my brother. I'm definitely going. Straw Hat Luffy is rolling around like a rascal. Yeah yeah yeah. Rayleigh shook his head. Just want to continue persuading. Next second. 
His old face changed slightly. The powerful observation Haki sensed the visitor in advance. Jingle bell tilde. The bar door bell rang. Sabo pushed the door open and entered. His gaze swept across the bar. A suspicious look appeared on his face. It was far away before, and he had also perceived it with the color of knowledge. There should be three people right here. Welcome dot 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 R. This is really a rare visitor. Shaki frowned slightly, already recognizing Sabo's identity. Sabo, the young chief of staff of the Revolutionary Army. How come you have the time to visit me today? I am. Sabo took off his hat. The words have not yet come out. Next moment, there was only a bang. 3.2 The door to the back room of the bar was pushed open. A pair of hands stretched out suddenly, grabbing Sabo's shoulders. Sabo dot 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 you Sabo. It must be Sabo. Straw hat Luffy ejected from the house, hanging on Sabo like a koala, tears streaming down his face. Whoa, Sabo, you're really alive. Ace didn't lie to me. That's great. It's really great. Looking at this sudden change. Callas and Lindbergh were stunned. Shaki and Rayleigh were equally stunned. Wait a minute, little monkey. What the hell is going on? You and him are. Shaki couldn't help but ask. Sabo. Sabo is my brother. Straw Hat Luffy cried with joy. Well, alas. Chapter 187 New Partner. Yuta, the red-haired diva. Defeat Brandish. Subscribe. Woo. -woo. Great. Sabo. It's great that you're still alive. Straw Hat Luffy hugged his brother Sabo tightly with both hands, tears streaming down his face. Luffy. I'm back. Sabo placed his big hand on top of his brother's head, soothing him gently. Ten days ago, in addition to the public execution announcement of the second captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Firefist Ace, another big event happened in the world. That's the Celestial Dragons event in Sabadi, created by Straw Hat Crew. Straw Hat Crew was wiped out by Shikai Bukai Tyrant Bear Group. News coverage of the incident. Of course Sabo saw it on the news too. After all, it is news related to my younger brother Luffy so I will definitely not miss it. Sabo is not worried about the Straw Hat Crew incident reported in the news, because he knew, was pretty sure, that the bear would never really kill the Straw Hat Crew. There must be something inside, and since Mr. Ksung has intervened, then Brother Luffy will definitely be fine. Compared with Luffy's safety, Sabo is more worried about what drastic things Luffy will do after knowing Ace's situation. But, now there is no need to worry anymore. I see, the reason why Erla asked us to come here is because he knows that Sabo's younger brother is here now. Karas, the leader of a northern army nodded knowingly. Hey, hey, it's not just Sabo's younger brother, this is really meeting a big guy. Southern Army Commander Lindbergh's eyes widened in shock. Now when the straw hat Luffy jumped out to meet Sabo, Rayleigh didn't have to hide anymore, he just showed up openly. Woo Sabo, listen to me, Ace's situation is not good now, Ace was captured by Marine, and he will be executed soon, we must trace against time, to save Ace is the right thing to do. After the excitement, Luffy in the straw hat wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes and spoke anxiously. That's exactly what I'm here for, Sabo said seriously. Clap. Shaki clapped his hands, drawing everyone's attention. It seems that the number of people who want to participate in the war has increased again, so let's sit down and discuss the countermeasures. With the approach of the TROP event, the whole world can't help but tense up. Certainly, not everyone is paying attention to this matter. For those who have eaten this meal and have no next meal, what they are most concerned about is naturally their own survival. New world. A poor, backward war-torn place. Chaos is the norm here. However, this moment, this chaotic island is being enveloped by melodious singing like the sounds of nature. The new era is the future in front of you. If you can change everything in the world. A beautiful girl with red and white hair sang passionately on the simple stage. Her singing seems to have some kind of magic. It makes people in the desperate hell see hope and ignite their courage. Oh, ooh, 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 you, T, A, Utah, Master Utah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yuta, your singing gave me the confidence to live. Always support Diva Yuta-sama. The impoverished people at the bottom cheered excitedly, cheering for the red-haired song. Everyone, thank you for your support. My concert is coming to an end today. Let's enjoy it to the fullest. The red-haired singer Yuta waved warmly. The melodious singing voice sounded out again. This moment, in the shade of a tree not far from the stage, Suyu leaned against the tree trunk enjoying Yuta's singing. I met Yuta five months ago. Suyu accidentally discovered the commission from Malagia from the pile of commission letters. Gordon, the former king of Aligia, the country of music, sent a commission to Fairy Tail, wanting Fairy Tail to help realize the girl's dream, and let Yuta's wonderful singing voice spread to the world. Suyu is no stranger to Yuta, the daughter of four emperors red-haired shanks. She is indeed a rare and talented singer. Now that you see it, you have to do something about it. So Sunning immediately set off for Elegia, under the persuasion of his adoptive father Gordon. Yuta also took the first step bravely. Go to sea with Suyu. Five months since then, Suyu took Yuta to many places one after another. He has held concerts in various places and has accumulated a lot of popularity. Today's Yuta seems to have become a popular singer in the mysterious world. What a wonderful singing voice. Good night. The beautiful green-haired girl who used Suyu's thigh as a pillow closed her beautiful eyes comfortably. Suyu lowered his head, looked at the girl with a lazy aura all over her body, and shook his head helplessly. 
Besides Yuta, the green-haired girl is also Fairy Tail's new partner, and she does not belong to this world, but from the world of Fairy Tail. Its name, Brandish. Like Irene, she is a member of the Twelve Shields of the Kingdom of Alvarez. In addition to its own powerful magic power, it also has powerful form magic. It can shrink an island to the size of a stone in an instant. It can also make a kingdom disappear in an instant. Because of its powerful capabilities, the green-haired beautiful girl Brandish was also dubbed the title of crafting the nation. Brandish is a 350 summoning partner with a guild level of 22. At that time, Suyu was about to start a concert tour with Yuta, but he is the president after all, so he can't always disappear. So, after knowing that the new partner is Brandish, Suyu immediately arranged for Brandish to be Yuta's bodyguard, responsible for protecting Yuta's safety when Suyu is away. As one of the members of the Twelve Shields of Protecting the Nation, Zai Lanshai's strength is naturally beyond doubt. The only shortcoming is that he is a little lazy. Of course, Brandish perfectly completed the work entrusted by Suyu. Another two hours. Brandish, wake up, it's almost over. Suyu pinched Brandish's nose. Well. You can only get up if the president kisses you, Brandish said coquettishly. After a while, satisfied, Brandish jumped up, grabbed a few little fish from the side bucket to the air force. Instantly, little fish rose against the wind. It turned into huge sea kings and fell to the ground. Let's go. After leaving food seeds, enough food, hope and courage, and the banner of fairy tale, Suyu took it and Brandish to leave. Go to the next concert stage, Naval Headquarters Marinford. Chapter 188 Summit War Start! Exclamation mark subscribe. Time flies. In a blink of an eye, it was another three days. Finally, the day of execution has come. The time is 11 o'clock in the morning. There are only four hours left until the public execution of Firefist Ace, captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates. All over the world, there is an uproar. A depressive and tense atmosphere enveloped the entire sea. Countless people are nervously looking forward to the four seas in the southeast. Northwest and the Grand Line. Everyone knows that for Emperor's Whitebeard is a human being more terrifying than evil spirits. Among the pirates as numerous as the stars in the sky, Whitebeard was always the one who stood the scariest. This era is called Whitebeard. Today, this represents the horror of an era. After being silent for many years, he is about to fully wake up. The public execution of Firefist Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates second team, was the trigger. The war between the Whitebeard Pirates and Naval Headquarters is about to start. Gudong. Four more hours. In four hours, the Whitebeard Pirates and Marine will. No. No, not four hours. The war would have started earlier. Perhaps in the next moment, the Whitebeard Pirates will show up. On the islands of Sabadi, number 30 Mangrove, there was a lot of voices. This is the place appointed by Marine for live broadcasting of wars. Naval Headquarters video phone bug will broadcast the signal to the big screen here in real time. This moment, people from almost the entire Sabadi Islands gather here. In addition, there are reporters from major news agencies in the world, sightseeing tour groups from all over the world. People who have the conditions all set off, wanting to witness this epoch-making war with their own eyes. Which direction will the world develop in the future? Will Whitebeard really show up? Just for a buddy, there will be, Whitebeard. He is definitely not the kind of man who will leave his partner behind apostrophe apostrophe. As early as a few days ago, New World has lost sight of a huge whale ship Moby Dick. And those famous New World captains under Whitebeard, some witnesses saw them have reached the first half. This war can no longer be stopped, Whitebeard or Marine, who can win today's victory? I have a hunch that the greatest war of this era is about to begin. Tick tock. The hands of the clock move slowly. Some moment. The hour and minute hands coincide with the seconds at the top of the clock. It means that the time has come to 12 o'clock at noon. Kai Kai Tilda, Sabadi Islands Live Plaza. Snowflake-like lights and shadows flashed across the live broadcast screens on the three sides. A spectacular scene followed. That's Naval Headquarters Marinford at this moment. The 100,000 marine elites gathered from all over the world lined up neatly, surrounded and solemnly. The high-spirited fighting spirit of the powerhouses became one, and even the white clouds in the sky collapsed. Right now. This naval headquarters seems to have turned into a dragon's den, waiting for the Whitebeard pirates to throw themselves into the net. Oh, oh, what a spectacular sight. Look, there are seven warlords of the sea at the front. That demon-like guy is Shikibukai Gecko Moria, and he's still alive. As for Moria, didn't I hear that she was defeated by Fairy Tail? What a lucky guy. Forget about Moria. Look, that's the Empress. Pirate Empress Boa Hancock Sama. The number one beauty in the world really lives up to her reputation. I will be the Empress's dog. The melon-eating people in Sabadi's live broadcast square, regardless of gender, were all captured by the beauty of the Pirate Empress, and what's more, they were directly petrified on the spot. In addition to Pirate Empress and Moria, there is Shikibukai Tyrant and the world's greatest swordsman, Hawkeye Mahook. I seem to have heard that there is a new Shikibukai to watch, why didn't it appear? Don't worry about it so much, look at it, it's Marine's total combat force. Ten phalanxes, 100,000 people. What's more, 
These 100,000 people are not ordinary sailors, they are all marines, say Paddy Liv broadcasted the square, and the reporters and the melon-eating crowd shouted excitedly and excitedly. The live broadcast came to Ksingtai. The first is directly below the execution platform. More than a dozen naval headquarters Vice Admiral, Stolo Berry, Shaitiers, Darmesier, Basta, Maynard, Puma, Jonathan, Kong Ming, and Mozambique. On both sides of them, there are John Giant, Ronce, Lakeless and other six giant vice admirals, standing like hills, motionless as mountains. Immediately afterwards, the screen came to the second floor of the execution platform. Flying Squirrel, Doberman, Ghost Spider, Kyosha Shan and other naval headquarters elite vice admiral stood calmly. In addition, there is also Marine's legendary veteran Grand Staff Vice Admiral Crane, and one of the pillars of the Marine, the legendary Vice Admiral, the Hirgarp. On top of that, three chairs side by side, Admiral Okiji Kizin, Admiral Akei Kazuki, Admiral Kizaru Lino. The three naval headquarters with the highest combat strength sat on it with their legs crossed. Oh, 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 say Paddy broadcast live on the plaza, and the emotions of the people eating melons were extremely high. Those are the highest fighters of naval headquarters. Three marine admirals plus the vice admiral team represented by the Hirgarp. It's really spectacular, I've never seen such a luxurious lineup. In this way, what if the other party is for Emperor's White Beard, the strongest man in the world? Even if it's the White Beard pirates, there will be no return today. By Lin Yu Oh, whoa. Look, this time the protagonist execution of Firefist Ace has appeared. The live broadcast screen turned and came to the other side of the execution platform, escorted by two executioners armed with long knives. The fuse character bar that triggered the all-out war between naval headquarters and the Whitebeard Pirates. Firefist Ace, captain of the Whitebeard Pirates second team, stepped onto the execution platform step by step with heavy steps. The screen then moves to Marine Marshal Sengoku. Marshal Sengoku glanced across the field then took out a small phone bug from his pocket. Today is a big day. Marshal Sengoku's voice resounded throughout naval headquarters through the phone bug. At the same time, it was also clearly heard by the people in the live plaza of the islands in Seibadi. Before the execution begins, I have one more thing to tell you, about the great significance of today's public execution. Chapter 189 for Emperor's White Beard lands on the top. Exclamation mark subscribe, gentlemen. Before the execution begins, I still have something to tell you about the necessity of today's public execution. On the execution platform, Marshal Sengoku's words attracted the audience's attention. Naval headquarters 100,000 marine elites hold their heads high. The reporters and the Melanitas in Seibadi's live broadcast square are also looking forward to it. Marshal Sengoku locked eyes on Ace. Porgas middle dot D middle dot Ace. State your father's name. Marshal Sengoku said in a low voice. Ace's face changed slightly and then returned to normal in the next second. My daddy is white beard, Ace replied calmly, wrong. Marshal Sengoku flatly denies it. That's right, my old man has only white beard and no one else, Ace shouted firmly. Well, all the marine elites in this department and the people who eat melons in the islands of Seibadi can't help but feel puzzled at this moment. For a while, I couldn't understand the meaning of this conversation between Marshal Sengoku and Ace, who is Firefist Ace's father, famous. Next second, the answer enough to shock the world was revealed. Twenty-two years ago. We tried our best to find the last possibility left by the man, and only relying on the bits and pieces of information from CP, we conducted a careful investigation of the newly born and unborn babies and their mothers, it turned out to be nothing. Of course, because you were born at the cost of your mother's life, and that woman's behavior is far beyond our common sense, she deceived us and the whole world. Your mother's name is Porgas de Rouge. You stayed in her womb for a full twenty months. It's completely against common sense, but that's why you were saved. One year and three months after your father died. A baby who inherited the world's most evil blood was born. You should know that your biological father's name is Gol Middle. D Middle. Roger, and you are the son of One Piece. Marshal Sengoku roared at the top of his throat. Reveal to the world this secret that has been hidden for twenty years. With Marshal Sengoku's voice fell. Naval Headquarters Marinford, all in silence. Say Paddy's Yudao live broadcast square can be heard. I don't know how long it has been. Maybe just for a brief moment. Next second. Wow. Endless hustle and bustle. Brewing. Hey. Hey. Is this true? Hey I hi dot 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 the son of the One Piece. That Firefist Ace dot 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 is actually the posthumous son of One Piece King Roger. The most evil bloodline in this world was thought to have been cut off, but the blood of One Piece is still going on. Many sailors murmured unconsciously in shock. Great, really great, that Firefist Ace has been caught. One Piece's son must have inherited his brutality. Ha ha ha, interesting. It's really interesting. The identity of the son of the One Piece makes today's execution even more exciting. 22 years ago. One Piece was publicly executed. Twenty-two years later, it's his son's turn. What a retribution! Say Buddy's live broadcast square inches the islands. The people who eat melons were either shocked or excited. Hurry up, move them all. Here's the first big news of the day. Firefist Ace is the headline of One Piece's son. 
We must grab it. The world's major news agencies are moving together to compete for this big news that can shock the world. Naval headquarters, the second floor of the execution platform. Here Garp closed his eyes and clenched his fists. The top of the execution platform. Marshal Sengoku's speech continued. Fire for Stace. It means a lot to take your head here today. So even if an all-out war with Whitebeard breaks out, we will do it. Lords, fight. Marshal Sengoku raised his arms and shouted. You 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 you. 100,000 marine elites should drink together, and the morale reaches the peak. At, Kfba, at this moment, suddenly, the shrill siren blared loudly. Attention the whole army, it's coming. Marshal Sengoku snapped. In the sea shrouded in thin mist, the pirate fleet is looming. Wandering Night Dama, King Makugai, Brother de Calban, Great Eddie Spider Skewad, I switch pay dot 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 these other pirates under white beard. No matter which one is new the most famous pirate captain in the world. On the coast of the headquarters, the sailors in charge of the watch shouted in shock. Just when everyone's attention is attracted to overseas captains. Next second, a shocking change happened beyond everyone's expectations. A giant Yuzu Maki suddenly spawns from Ark Moon Bay. A hill suddenly rose from the surface of the sea, as if something huge was about to emerge from the surface of the sea. Hey, hey. This is not trying to come out from an unexpected place. Marine Hirgarp looked shocked. Their main ship is coated and ready to directly invade the bay from the bottom of the sea. Our deployment is wrong. Chief Staff Officer Vice Admiral he took a deep breath with a dignified expression. Next moment, only a loud bang was heard. The huge whale ship Moby Dick emerges from the rising waters. It's not over yet. Then came the second, the third. A total of four whale boats broke out of the sea, shocking the audience instantly. Finally, the other side of this war, Whitebeard Pirates landed on the battlefield. Say Paddy live streamed the square. Out dot 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 appeared. It's finally here. For Emperor's Whitebeard Pirates. I didn't expect to use this method. The war is about to begin. Despair. Clatter. Footsteps echoed clearly. Under the shocking eyes of the 100,000 elites in the headquarters and everyone in the live broadcast square. The old man with the title of World's Strongest Man boarded the bow of the whale step by step. The crescent-like Whitebeard is his nickname, and it is his symbol, which has suppressed an era. He is the pinnacle king of the great pirate era after Roger's death. At the same time, it is also a legend across the sea from the Rocks era to the present. For Emperor's Whitebeard Edward Newgate. Finally, For Emperor's Whitebeard stands on the bow of a whale. Cool la 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 la. The loud and heroic laughter broke the silence of naval headquarters, and even made the clouds in the sky collapse. It's been decades, Sengoku. My beloved son is really taken care of. Chapter 190 The Redhead Diva Singing on the Top! Exclamation mark Subscribe! Naval Headquarters, atop the battlefield. Kula la la la, I haven't seen you for decades, Sengoku. My beloved son is really taken care of. Whitebeard laughed heavily. The captain's cloak behind him fluttered with the wind, showing a mighty and extraordinary aura. The aura exuded by him alone is enough to rival thousands of troops. Whitebeard, Marshal Sengoku's eyebrows were like swords and the expression on his face was extremely serious. Even if it's at Marine's home turf, even if they are fully prepared. When facing this man, there must be no carelessness in the slightest, because Whitebeard has the power to destroy the world. One careless move, or the whole game will be lost. Father, everyone. Ace clenched his fist, the sea stone chain rattled behind him. Watching the arrival of Papa Whitebeard and mates, unlimited complex thoughts could not help but emerge in his heart. Obviously I ignored my father's advice and acted without authorization. You dot 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 why don't you abandon me dot 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 it's all because of my willfulness. Ace shouted at the top of his voice, with infinite remorse and self-blame in his voice. No, you're wrong, Ace. I told you to go. Whale bow, for Emperor's Whitebeard shook his head. I'm sorry, son for making you do such a dangerous thing. Whitebeard spoke, with infinite gentleness and love in his voice. No, it's not like that, you clearly stopped. Ace wanted to refute. No, I made you go, didn't I, Marco? Whitebeard categorically stopped drinking. Yes, I heard that too, Ace. It really made you suffer. The captain of the first team, Phoenix Marco, smiled and echoed. In this sea, everyone knows what will happen if we dare to attack our companions. Fifth Division Captain Foilfister grinned. We will never let anyone hurt you. Ace. Team 3 Diamond Joys put his arms around his arms, full of confidence. Ace, wait a moment. Captain Ace, I'm here to save you now. Wake up. Naval Headquarters. The morale of all members of the Whitebeard Pirates was high, and the roar was loud. Ah la la, this really provoked a bunch of incredible guys. Admiral Okiji spoke lazily. It's scary nah. Admiral Kizaru said fear on his mouth. His wretched old face was still calm. Isn't it expected to say this even now? Admiral Ake Ainu spoke calmly. He ha he, how are you going to attack? Whitebeard, Shikibukai Gekko Maria screamed excitedly. Finally, facing the tense eyes of the crowd, for Emperor's Whitebeard grinned and sprang into action. Wait for me, Ace. Whitebeard casually stabbed the supreme sharp knife Kong Yunki into the bow of the whale. Immediately, his hands were suddenly clenched, closed in front of him, 
and his body leaned forward slightly. Drink. Whitebeard's sandbag-sized fists slammed open to the sides. Boom. The muffled sound was like thunder. Next second, horrific sights ensue. Click. There was an overwhelmed clicking sound in the sky. With Whitebeard's fist as the center, it gradually splits due to chi. A series of crisscross cracks spread like spider webs. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. What's going on here? The atmosphere. The atmosphere is actually split. Is this something humans can do? Whitebeard. What the hell did that monster do? The sailors of naval headquarters and the melon-eating crowd in Sebadi Square. Countless people were shocked and shouted in horror. Just as people were nervously waiting for the scene of the sky collapsing after this. The next moment, something that made people suspicious happened. Obviously, Whitebeard's fist shattered the atmosphere with great momentum. However, when everything returned to calm, nothing happened. The sea was calm even calmer than ever before. What? Nothing happened at all. Sure enough it was Whitebeard who was bluffing earlier. It looks bluffing, but it's actually useless. Even the four emperors, Whitebeard is old. Just when the idiots thought so. The next moment, a slap in the face followed. Dot dot task for flowers. The situation of the world changed suddenly. The sea rumbled. There were violent waves on the calm sea. The sea in all directions of naval headquarters trembled, and the water level continued to rise. The sea quake was triggered by the initial air quake which eventually turned into a terrifying tsunami. 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 100 meters. It's coming. The earthquake caused by that guy has turned into a tsunami. On the execution platform, Marshal Sengok opened his eyes and shouted angrily. The voice just fell. A huge shadow falls when the hood falls. The 100 meter tsunami natural disaster crashed down. Dot. The sea dot 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 the tsunami is coming. What a terrifying power this is. This is the four emperor's white beard. Zero. This is the strongest man in the world. Not good. Naval headquarters is going to be swallowed. Looking at the terrifying tsunami, even the elites of naval headquarters couldn't help feeling desperate. If the disaster and tsunami were allowed to fall, the consequences would be disastrous. The 100,000 marine elites may be lost by more than half. On the nick of time, swish. A figure rushed up from the execution platform. In a blink of an eye, it was over the bay. That's naval headquarters at its highest. Admiral Okaji Kizan made a shot. Ice Age. Admiral Okaji spoke softly. Logia frozen fruit ability. Fully open. Two slender icicles connect him to the scourge and tsunami. Kakaka tilde. There was the sound of things freezing. Ultimate's frozen air surged out of Okaji's body. Just in the blink of an eye. A tsunami large enough to engulf the naval headquarters. The entire bay and even the open sea were all frozen. The sun shone down and the ice was shining brightly. At the same time, take the frozen Crescent Bay as the battlefield platform. The all-out war between the Whitebeard pirate fleet and the naval headquarters is about to start. However, at this time, without warning, singing rang out over the naval headquarters battlefield. On the summit war stage with the highest standard in the world, the red-haired diva sang loudly. Dot. Chapter 191 Marine, Whitebeard, and five elders all wiped out! Exclamation mark subscribe, call, say buddy islands. Live Plaza. The reporters and Melanitas gathered here all let out a sigh of relief. Great. Naval headquarters is alright. Before, I thought something really big was going to happen. It's okay. Fortunately, Q's and Admiral is here. Whitebeard is powerful, but Naval headquarters highest combat power is not vegetarian. That's right. Q's and Admiral froze the tsunami in an instant. So handsome. The Melanitas who are interested in Marine are full of excited discussions. Ababa. Bababa, is this the top in the world? One and two are monsters. Haming Skilichman app yelled loudly. Four, Emperor's Whitebeard Edward Newgate, who caused a natural disaster tsunami with his bare hands. He really has the power to destroy the world. Capone Big, the captain of the flame tank pirates, murmured in shock. The strongest paramecia, shock fruit, even if it destroys the world, it is no problem at all. Fallen Marine Rear Admiral Drake swallowed every word, and spoke solemnly. Shock fruit is scary. But Whitebeard's own strength is the root of it. Sky Island Strange Monkair or Uj said. The sea is frozen. Now the war is really about to start. Killak Era said in a deep voice. Um, at a certain moment, Trafalgar Law, Captain Kidd and other supernova captains all frowned. Is this singing? Who is singing? Well, snapped. D. The people who eat melons fall down one after another. Southeast of naval headquarters. The sky about 10,000 meters away. Huge islands float in midair. Floating Sky Island Plaza stands a large display screen. What is being broadcast live on the screen is the war between Marine and the Whitebeard Pirates. Gee ha ha ha, ladies of fairy tale. Please watch the battle to your heart's content. Golden Lion Shiki laughed triumphantly. The live video in front of him was made by him. Thanks for your hard work. Urza nodded. Let's take a look for now. If the president appears, we will go there together. Mirajan said. All the fairy tale girls nodded. Cemetery. Nami gasped in surprise. Singing? Where did the singing come from? It seems to come from the live broadcast. But that's the naval headquarters battlefield. How can anyone sing in such a vast battlefield? But having said that, 
It's really a beautiful song, Hatilda, Hatilda, Hatilda. The girls sitting in rows on the square fell asleep one after another. Holy Land Mary E. Joy's, Pangu City, Social Square. A huge live broadcast screen lay across all out war between the Marines and the White Beard Pirates. This is a once in a century event in the sea. Celestial dragons, who are usually the most sensual, will naturally not want to miss it. Compared with today's wars, their usual slave duels in the arena are nothing more than children's play. Regarding today's battle, Many celestial dragons even are requested to organize a group to watch the battle at naval headquarters. However, it was eventually rejected by five elders. In this way, the celestial dragons can only settle for the next best thing. While watching the live broadcast of the war in the social square, enjoy a variety of fine wines and delicacies. The other side, inside Pangu City, the five elders conference hall, as the world's most powerful five elders. Of course they can't be mixed with ordinary celestial dragons to watch the fun. There is also a special live broadcast screen in the main hall for them to watch this battle feast. It's finally time to start. That guy Kizan did a great job. I remember Sengoku planning several strategies. That's right, there will be a good show soon. On the bright side, the most powerful people in the world are holding goblets and smiling, looking forward to the next war. Um, five elders J. Gorusia Satan suddenly frowned. Where did this song come from? Boom. The goblet fell to the ground and shattered. The five elders fell one after another. Also fallen were the celestial dragons gathered in the social square. For a while, the holy land of Mary E. Joyce was in chaos. At the same time, naval headquarters, Marinford. At this moment, there is no sound, and the drop of a needle can be heard. If anyone can come here, you will definitely be shocked by the picture you see in front of you. Because, this moment, hundreds of thousands of elite sailors gathered on the trop of the battlefield, lying on the street. Not just the elite at naval headquarters, the Whitebeard pirates and their 43 subsidiaries. The same goes for the 50 000 strong pirate army all over the battlefield. Whether it is the plaza in the bay or the ice battlefield, marine and the pirates lay down in a mess. Some even retain the posture of wrestling and killing each other. Also, and the top powerhouses in this battlefield, on the bow of the whale ship, for Emperor's white beard propped up the supreme sharp knife can he uncut, even though the soul was not there. He still did not fall down. On the scaffold, so did Marshal Sengoku and Marine Legend Vice Admiral Hirgarp, the Chief of Staff, Vice Admiral Crane, leaned on Garp. The future of the new era. Four minutes later, the song was over. The heavenly singing that echoed over naval headquarters, over Sabadi, over Sky Island, and over the holy land of Mary E. Joy ceased. Naval headquarters battlefield. A ship fell from the sky. Hatilda, the red-haired singer Utalianed weakly in Suyu's arms, panting lightly. President, I'm sorry. My physical strength is exhausted a little fast, I'm afraid the singing world won't last long. Yuta pursed her lips and spoke apologetically. It doesn't matter. So you took off the earphones and touched Yuta's small head. You've tried hard enough. Paramecia Song 3.3 Song Fruit. This is exactly what caused the scene of naval headquarters being wiped out at this moment. It is Yuta's ability to lead other people's souls into the virtual singing world through singing. In the theatrical version. You once used this ability to bring 70% of the world's population into the spiritual world. Even the four emperors Luffy at the time was unaware and was not spared, which shows the bug and absoluteness of this ability. Now, Jejago once again proved its bug ability on the top battlefield. Even the top powerhouses such as four emperors Whitebeard, Marine Hero Garp, Marshal Sengoku, etc., are also hit. It's almost time for me to go there. Yuta, if you're really tired and can't hold on, go to sleep, don't hold on and brandish, Yuta will be left to you to protect, so you said, um, chapter 192 Garp, stop the war, the world has problems, subscribe, kill, kill, naval headquarters drop the battlefield, shouting and killing loudly, Admiral Okiji's frozen icy bait turned into a battleground, the all-out war between marine and the whitebeard pirates begins, at the same time, outside the bay, the 43 pirates under whitebeard also fought against the elite vice admirals of the headquarters, the battle situation is fierce and extraordinary, floating sky island, Plaza, huh? All the fairy tale girls looked suspicious. Did anything happen before? Nami tilted her head in bewilderment. Have no idea. Vivi shook her head in confusion. It seems to have a strange feeling. Wendy frowned slightly. Everyone is here, that's good. Urza breathed a sigh of relief. It started, the war between Marine and Whitebeard. We just need to see if the president will show up, Myra said. Perona and the others nodded. Yamato. June firmly grasped Yamato's wrist. What are you doing? Runty. Yamato was dissatisfied. Yamato, I know you are in a hurry, but don't be in a hurry. You are carrying the banner of fairy tale, before the president clearly wants to intervene in the war, you must not cause the reputation of the minister because of your own willfulness damaged. Run said seriously. I know. Yamato lowered his eyebrows slightly. Holy land, Mary E. Joyce, Pangu City, Five Elders Hall. Something seems wrong? Five Elders Satan frowned. I feel the same way, but, 
What's wrong? The Swordmaster Five Elders gripped the first generation Anitsu tightly in his hand. Maybe we are overthinking. The blonde and bearded Five Elders got up and opened the window. The hustle and bustle of the Celestial Dragons on the social square of Pangu City came instantly. No dot 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 no. Although I don't know what's going on dot 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 but it does seem like something happened earlier. Bald Scar Five Elders said firmly. In short, wait and see what happens. Don't take it lightly. White hair and white beard five elders looked solemn. Say Buddy Islands, Live Plaza. What happened to the previous singing? Captain Kidd frowned deeply. Did something happen? Trafalgar Law whispered. Always feel a strange atmosphere. But, the surrounding areas have not changed at all. Probably because we are overthinking. Hawkins, Big, Aruki and other supernova captains all shook their heads. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. in the square. The crowd erupted into an uproar. Look, that man. Mehook, the world's number one swordsman wants to strike. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. Clang. A high-pitched and resonant sword cry sounded. At the same time, it was accompanied by a sharp sword intent. It was Mehook, the world's number one swordsman, drawing his sword, and the time attracted the audience's attention. Hawkeye Mehook, this man's eyes, are more intimidating than rumored. The pirate queen Boa Middledot Hancock whispered, as long as you're a swordsman, you will definitely want to fight with him. Foil Vesta, captain of the 5th division of the Whitebeard Pirates, looked solemn. Hey he he he. What's the matter? Are you going to go? This is really rare. Shikai Bukai Moria laughed. Just want to try, and the gap with the strongest. Mehook, the world's number one swordsman, spoke calmly. The moment the voice fell, he wields the strongest black sword in the world. Yi. The atmosphere twisted under his sword. The emerald green sword light shines in the world. Clang. Boom. The green sword energy spanned half of the icy bay battlefield. Slash straight to white beard at the bow of the whale. However, Facing the first swordsman Hawkeye's slash, Whitebeard at the bow of the whale was unmoved in the slightest. This moment, Whitebeard's pale golden pupils were narrowed, and he looked up at the sky at a 45 degree angle, lost in thought. The marine here Garp and Marshal Sengoku on the execution platform also have the same action as Whitebeard. Seeing that Mehook's slash was about to hit, at this time, the best slash in the world, let me dry. Diamond Jaws, the captain of the third team of the Whitebeard Pirates rushes to him. Activate Paramisha's shiny fruit ability. Most of his body turned into diamonds at a speed visible to the naked eye. Immediately afterwards, in the shocking eyes of the people, they embraced Hawkeye's green slash, and abruptly sent it to the sky. As expected of the captains of the Whitebeard Pirates, one or two are as strong as monsters. On the execution platform, Kizaru gets up. If you want to minimize the loss, you must first take down the enemy's admiral. There was a flash of gold. Admiral Kizaru disappeared from where he was. When it reappeared, it suddenly came over the whale ship. Laser light flickers on fingertips. Countless laser light spots fell like rain. Blue flames filled the sky. Kizaru, how could it be so easy for you to get in touch with our target general? Marco, the phoenix. The captain of the first team, grinned and turned into a phoenix, bathed in the laser light rain without any injuries. If you can take it, then come and take a look. On the ground, Tanzi Zation who blocked Hawkeye's slash. Boom. With his fist smashed down, a huge circle was cracked in the ice. Drink. Jaws embedded his hands in the ice. He picked up a huge ice cube with his backhand. With all his strength, he threw it towards the square inches the bay. The shadow fell, causing the sailors in the square inches the bay to scream in horror. Really, one or two, if all of you are gone, who will guard the execution platform? Admiral Akai knew, the highest strength of naval headquarters touched his crew cut and finally stood up. Gudong Gudong Tilda. The scorching black red magma soared into the sky. Great eruption. Admiral Ake Ainu throws a fist. The huge magma fist easily penetrates huge ice blocks. It's not over yet. The fiery magma giant fist exploded. It turned into countless blights and fell to the battlefield. Whether it is a pirate or a marine, they are all affected by Ake Ainu's indiscriminate and the scene is tragic. Ah, ah, ah. Screams became the only melody in this battlefield. Gunpowder smoke and blood can be seen everywhere. Every moment. Marine or pirate. People kept falling. No. Sure enough, it's not right. On the second floor of the execution platform, Garp shook his head again and again. Swish. With a flash, Garp landed on the top of the execution platform. Sengoku. There's something wrong with this battlefield. What's wrong? Marshal Sengoku asked in a deep voice. In fact, he was also aware of it. I can't tell. In short, there is a problem with this world. Let's stop the war first. That guy Whitebeard should have noticed something. Garp said solemnly. A truce? It's impossible. It can't be stopped. Marshal Sengoku flatly refused. Next second. Boom boom boom. The earth trembled. Chapter 193. Dutiful Sun Sword. Whitebeard has been dutiful. Subscribe. Boom boom boom. The earth trembled. The sound of heavy footsteps came from the mist overseas like the beating of war drums. The violent tremors made the broken stones and ice blocks on the ice battlefield jump up. Look, something is about to appear in the fog. What's that? It's huge. Under the shocking gaze of the people, a huge figure stepped out of the mist. Nearly 40 meters tall, weighing more than 40 tons. The whole body is green and oily, 
with long horns and fangs, like a ghost. He is the descendant of the legendary Yungo Oz. Little Ozzy, the captain of the Little Pirates, is offering a bounty of 550 million berry. Ace, here I come. Little Ozzy swung a saber that was tens of meters long. Relying on the advantages of the huge size and strange strength of the ancient giants, they made a strong breakthrough. Cannonballs hit him like mosquitoes tickle. Even the large warships of naval headquarters were easily broken by him. It's not relying on sword intent and sword energy, nor the blessing of famous swords, but pure brute force. With a wave of both arms, the power is overwhelming. Motobu Bay was broken through a huge gap. That's it. The two giants, Vice Admiral, stepped forward together, trying to stop them. However, in front of the ancient giants, even the giants seem like children. Little Ozzy swung his saber powerfully, repelling the attacking giants. Ace, wait for me, I will definitely save you. Little Oz took heavy steps. Step by step, he walked firmly towards the execution platform. Oz, on the execution platform, Ace shouted anxiously and nervously. He didn't feel the slightest joy because of Little Ozzy's strong breakthrough. Because the huge size brings great strength, but also makes him a huge target. Stop it, Ozzy, don't rush alone. Whale bow, Whitebeard looked back at the sky. Please don't stop me, Daddy, Ace is very gentle. I must save him vertical bar. Little Oz spoke firmly. Like the straw hat friendship between Redhead Shanks and Luffy. There is also a unique straw hat relationship between Ace and Ozzy. Ace's gentleness that turned grass into a hat at the beginning has now turned into the driving force for the next moment. He forcibly endured the erosion of Marine's artillery fire, and his actions never wavered from beginning to end. Finally, Little Oz is just a stone's throw from Inner Bay Plaza. Come on, Little Oz. Boat Ozzy, go. That's the momentum follow Oz up. The morale of the Whitebeard Pirates is high. However, next second. Hey, look at that Shikai Bukai tyrant bear. What does he dot 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 that Shikai Bukai seem to be trying to do? Wait a moment, that move. Could it be? Someone on the pirate side noticed tyrant bear's movements, and their eyes widened in horror. Little Ozzy remained unconscious. He stared intently at the execution platform. Duang, Duang, Duang. The atmosphere with a radius of 100 meters is constantly compressed in the hands of the Shikai Bukai tyrant bear. Finally compressed to the size of a bear's paw, Shikai Bukai Tyrant Bear unleashes Kaimai Kai Gong. The highly compressed bear's paw slowly floated out, flashing loudly in front of Little Ozzy. Boom, Shikai Bukai Tyrant Bartholomew Bear's big move, bear impact burst, rumble. The mass air compressed by the meatball fruit's ability expands in an instant, and the explosive impact produced is unparalleled. The dazzling explosion light bloomed causing people to squint their eyes unconsciously. The powerful explosion shockwave sent all the sailors and pirates flying away. Wait until everything subsides. A large crater with a radius of 100 meters exploded on the ice surface where Little Ozzy was. Boom. Little Ozzy, who offered a reward of 550 million, rolled his eyes white. His body was covered with scars, and his spiritual consciousness was on the verge of losing his mind. At least, at least one Shikai Bukai too. Little Ozzy dragged his seriously injured body to attack the Shikai Bukai. However, it was easily pierced by Moria's shadow horn gun, and finally fell down. Little Oz, Captain Oz. The pirates were no longer as excited as they were before, and they shouted again and again in shock and anger. Oz, whale brow, white beard drooping eyelids. There's a hole, white beard. The giant vice admiral swung his giant axe and attacked white beard. Boom, white beard didn't look back. A casual punch shattered the giant's axe. Immediately afterwards, the big hand pressed down pressing the head of the giant vice admiral firmly on the bow of the whale. A shock of wordless rage erupted, and a powerful giant, vice admiral, fell and was thrown away by Whitebeard like a torn sack. Whether it's Little Oz or the defeat of the giant's vice admiral, they are just a wave and this great war doesn't make much of an image of the war. The brutal fighting continued. It's really difficult, Whitebeard, but everything is under control. The next battle, finish you. Marshal Sengoku has a plan in mind and takes out the little phone bug. Cut off the signal of the video phone bug now. No matter what method is used, this war must be won, but this is a little too exciting for the civilians. Don't tell the world what will happen next, Marshal Sengoku ordered. Hours later, we just need to tell the world about our victory, and those few words will suffice. Order issued. All video phone bugs are off. Sebadi landed in the Zudao live broadcast square, watching the live broadcast with a sudden black screen. There was commotion in the crowd, and the Melanitas were all cursing. However, in just the next second, the black screen, Liano's, live broadcast was relit. Don't wait for people to look into the reasons. What happened next shocked everyone. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. Boom 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 tilde. The astonishing roar and dazzling explosion flames exploded on the battlefield. The pitch black smoke enveloped Wanta Square. There was the sound of uniform footsteps amidst the gunpowder smoke. A group of Shikai Bukai tyrant bears emerged from the smoke. As he raised his hand, terrifying lasers swept across the battlefield, waiting for people to be shocked by the appearance of the tyrant Xander John. Next moment, the shocking change in the bow of the whale on the main screen made everyone's eyes widen, their pupils tremble, and the whole person was shocked beyond measure. 
live screen, a knife, through Whitebeard's chest. The strongest man in the world was assassinated. Chapter 194 Shocking Inside Story, Maureen colluded with Whitebeard! Exclamation mark subscribe. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. Whale ship, Moby Dick. Daddy. Skewed. The captain of the Eddie Spider Pirates, came to Whitebeard. Skewed. Are you okay? I haven't been able to contact you since just now. Whitebeard asked. Ah, let's be alive. Skewyard replied. That's good. What's the situation in Wanta now? Whitebeard asked. The pirates under my command suffered a lot of casualties. I came here by taking a shortcut. Skewyard replied. Sengoku won't show mercy and will use everything against us. Whitebeard narrowed his eyes. Dad, have you discovered Marine's tactics? Skewyard lowered his head with an inexplicable look in his eyes. Sengoku and I are old friends. Whitebeard pulled out the supreme sharp knife Kong Yankee. Although it's unclear exactly what has changed, since the marine has moved, I'm about to attack and attack in one go. Do you want to join me? Whitebeard's eyes locked on the plaza in the bay. We, the pirates under the command, are all indebted to the great kindness of the old man. For the Whitebeard pirates, we will go through fire and water. Skewyard drew his sword out of its sheath. 467. This is a battle to protect the family. Pirate Whitebeard will never abandon his family. Because of this, everyone followed you to this hell. But, swish. The blade flashed with icy cold light and pierced through the chest of four emperors Whitebeard. It would be really nice if we were family too. Blood splashed. This moment, the huge top battlefield fell into a deathly silence. Marco, Jaws, Vistu and other white team captains, new world captains such as Ranger Dima, I Switch Pei, Di Calban brothers, and all the pirates and sea soldiers around the battlefield. Everyone's eyes widened at the same time, and their faces were filled with extreme shock and disbelief, and they couldn't believe what they saw. Gudong Tilda, Sizzle Sizzle Tilda, Sabadi Islands, Live Plaza. The reporters and the melon-eating crowd rolled their Adam's apples with difficulty. The sound of gasping for air conditioning came and went, one after another. Hey hey hey, what exactly is going on? Whitebeard dot 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 four emperors Whitebeard has been assassinated. And the person who did it was, Tkfer, Whitebeard's captain of the pirate, Skewad, the Vortex Spider. What the hell? Why did the captain under Whitebeard do such a thing? Isn't the Whitebeard pirates famously united? Everyone under their command regards Whitebeard as their father, but, ha ha ha, this is a pirate, your own life and interests come first. That's right, the big whirlpool spider Skew Yad must have reached an agreement because he knew he couldn't win, so he jumped back. After all, they are pirates. There is no such thing as benevolence and righteousness among pirates. It is only natural to do such a thing. The people who eat melons in the square are all talking about it. Anyway, this is big news. Hurry up and contact the headquarters. Reporters from major news agencies took action one after another. However, what's going on? Why can't I get in touch? Headquarters, please answer if you hear it. Please answer it if you hear it. No. I can't get in touch at all, and all the signals can't be sent out. You can't get in touch either? What happened? The reporters who discovered the anomaly couldn't help showing panic. Long. The big thing is bad, boss. There is indeed a problem here. Where the hell are we now? We went to see other mangroves before. Except for the vicinity here. There is no one in sight in other areas a little further away. Members of Supernova Team Heart, Kid, Tank, and Hawkins return from all directions to bring this dire news. Knew it. We are trapped by some force. What are you kidding? Who the hell did this kind of thing? And how dot 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 why? Floating Sky Island Plaza. Jahahaha. You really deserve it. Whitebeard, this is what happened to you who took your son everywhere. Now it's all right, you've been dutiful. Golden Lion Shiki laughed gloatingly. That big vortex spider. Why did he do such a thing? Yamato's beautiful eyes widened in disbelief compared to that pirate's actions. The bigger problem is that Whitebeard was successfully attacked. Urza looked serious. That's right. It's true. It's the four emperors anyway. According to common sense, it is impossible to be attacked so easily, even if the person doing the attack is a trusted subordinate. Naval headquarters. The entire battlefield was shaken very much by the filial sunsword of the great vortex spider Skewyad. I don't know how long the unspeakable dead silence lasted. Skewyad, the roar of Marco. The captain of the first team, the Phoenix, broke the silence here. Why do you do such a thing? Answer me, Skewyard. Marco pressed Skewyard to the ground and asked his soul. Don't be so wordy, aren't you all forcing me to do this? The Eddie Spider Skewyard screamed. Come to an end to this farce, Whitebeard. Haven't you already colluded with Marine? You Whitebeard pirates and Ace will be saved. Marine has already promised dot 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 you all listen to me we've all been tricked. Skewyard yelled at the top of his voice. Skewyard, what the hell are you talking about? What exactly is going on? On the Bayhead battlefield. The captains of New World were all shocked. I never knew that Ace was the son of that Roger. When you adopted me, I was alone. You don't know why I was alone, because, all my important partners were killed by Roger. You should know how much I hate Roger pirates. In this case, you should tell me, Ace is Roger's son. You want him to be the next One Piece. Early at that time, I was betrayed by you. Without knowing anything, 
I became good friends with Ace, and I was played around by you. This time, for you, so special Ace was betrayed by you. Caught. So, you sold the heads of our 43 pirate captains in exchange for Ace's life. All the pirates under your command will be wiped out. The Whitebeard pirates and Ace will be saved. You have colluded with Sengoku. Yes that's right. Skewyard spread the word about what he learned from Admiral Ake Ainu. On top of the battlefield, there was another uproar. Chapter 195 Rayleigh, Luffy, Sabo, join the battle! Exclamation mark subscribe. Following Skew Yad's blood and tears, the accusation fell. There was an uproar on the naval headquarters battlefield. Well, is that so? Has Marshal Sengoku and Whitebeard reached such an agreement? I have no idea. Collude with pirates? I can't accept this kind of thing at all. If that's the case, what is our desperate struggle so far? There is also the previous mobilization speech by Marshal Sengoku, and again, all over the battlefield, the sailors who don't know the truth can't help being shaken. Idiot, don't think about it. How can such a thing be true ah? It's all about justice. Flying Squirrel, Doberman, Kyosha Shan and other vice admirals who knew the inside story reprimanded them one after another. Compared to Marine, this moment, the most acceptable and unacceptable to this kind of thing is naturally the pirates under Whitebeard. Hey, Skullard. What nonsense are you talking about? Dad betrayed us? It's impossible to think about this kind of thing with your toes. I can't believe it. That's Daddy Whitebeard. It's okay for the stupid people in the world not to know, but we are the most clear about how admirable Dad's benevolence is. Dad, please tell us it's not true. Father, you can't possibly betray us. That's right. All the new world pirates shouted one after another. They say they believe it, but in fact, many people are shaken. Whale bow. The four emperor's white beard was silent throughout. It's a miracle to get stabbed with one blow. I've already made up my mind. Kill me. Skew Yad put on a hero who exposes the lies and is ready to die. Idiot. You are a hopeless idiot. Skew Yad, you have been deceived. Why don't you trust dad? Marco yelled in pain. Don't pretend to be stupid, Marco. As the captain of the first team, you can't know everything. Skew Yad scolded. It is true that Ace is Roger's son. Finally. Whitebeard was no longer silent. They manipulated the man who is most likely to be swayed by this incident. It seems that their battle is better. Whitebeard's thick arms thrown high. You should be aware of what you have done. You should fight against your father. You are a hopelessly stupid son. Skewyard closed his eyes, ready to accept death. However, the imagined pain did not come. Whitebeard's big hands didn't feel a hint of pressure. Just hug him into his broad chest. Even if you are a silly son, I still love you. Whitebeard gentle opening. Don apostrophe t dot 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 don't be kidding. You clearly put us. Skewyad was struggling emotionally, and his heart was shaken. Who is it that leads your loyal and honest heart to darkness? Whitebeard's calm voice hid fury. It's the Marines rebels. Skewyad replied blankly. His head was completely shut down, unable to think. I deeply feel how much you hate Roger, but Skewyad, what did Ace do to you? You and Ace share thick and thin, no matter what difficulties you encounter. Don't you overcome them together ten times? Whitebeard's gentle opening. It doesn't matter whose child Ace is. The important thing is that we met on this vast sea. Not only you two, but everyone is my son. Skewyad, get along well. Ace is not the only one who is special. Everyone is my family. Pat, the murder weapon in Skewyad's hand fell. This moment, he finally realized. Aware of the fact that he might have been tricked by Marine into doing something terribly stupid. Speaking of which, it's really a treasure trove. And you're playing around with me. Sengoku. Whitebeard stood up and locked his eyes on Field Marshal Sengoku on the execution platform. That I'm going to sell the heads of my sons? Whitebeard's eyes flashed fiercely, and he punched hard. Boom. Kaka. The atmosphere cracked under his fist. The powerful vibration force spread to both sides. The tsunami ice walls standing on both sides of the headquarters shattered. The escape route of the pirates appears. As pirates, you decide what you want to believe. Whitebeard yelled loudly. Ha ha ha. It really is fake. Everything is a conspiracy by Marine. Dot dot ask for flowers. Damn Marine, how dare you lie to us. I knew that dad would never betray us. Sorry, dad. I'll never doubt dad again. Me too, dad. I want to follow dad all my life. All the pirates in New World shouted indignantly. Those who want to go up with me, follow me with a belief that they must die. Whitebeard leapt, officially joined the battle, and rushed to the square and cheers the bay. Oh, 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 oh. The Whitebeard pirates responded in unison. Of course, it's coming. The strongest man in the world is about to go crazy. On the scaffold, Marshal Sengoku shouted. This moment, real world. Misty Motobu overseas. The energetic little lion ship Kion Yang sailed straight to the battlefield. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. It's too quiet here. Is today really a day of war? Lindbergh, the commander of the Southern Army of the Revolutionary Army, frowned, wondering if they had misremembered the date. Mr. Rayleigh, Sabo also frowned. His observation Haki told him that there was no fighting ahead. To this, the same goes for Ailey's perception. That's what makes it all the more weird. After all, not long ago, 
They had received news that the Whitebeard pirates had landed on the battlefield, according to their expectations, now should be the most intense time of the war. Hey, look at that, this guy is an ancient giant under Whitebeard's command, offering a reward of 550 million little Aussie. Karas, the leader of the northern army, saw little Aussie floating in the sea. Is the giant asleep? On the bow of the lion, Luffy in the straw hat tilted his head in confusion. Well, this has nothing to do with me, there is only one thing I have to do and that is to rescue Ace. Straw Hat Luffy patted his face and stood up. Crash. The little lion Keon Yang sailed out of the mist, and the sight ahead suddenly became clear. Stay tuned to see naval headquarters in corpse litter. Everyone on the Keon Yang ship stared in shock at the same time. Even the legendary Pluton Rayleigh was no exception. This. What the hell is going on? Dot 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 four. Chapter 196 Luffy Saboff's Brandish Subscription. Sing the world. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. World's strongest man Whitebeard. Attack, with one punch, the atmosphere in all directions freezes. All the shells that came flying turned back backwards. Giant's Vice Admiral John Giant is about to block. However, the big knife in his hand was easily thrown away. Cool la la la. Four Emperor's Whitebeard's hands are clawed. The illusory atmosphere seems to materialize in his hands. As Whitebeard swung his hands down, the entire naval headquarters was shaken. A doomsday-like scene ensues. With naval headquarters as the center, the sea is torn apart, high and low. A huge hole was opened on the ice battlefield and the town buildings of the family members on the back bank continued to collapse. Even the naval headquarters building was ripped open by the shaking. This is the Paramecia shock fruit with the strongest name. 353. Damn white beard, there is such power. On the execution platform, Marshal Sengoku looked ugly. Gop, what are you looking at? He noticed something strange about his old friend beside him. Over there at the headquarters building. Gop mused. Forget it, giant won't last long. Marshal Sengoku ignored it, took out a small phone bug and issued new operational instructions. Rise up the surrounding walls immediately. The voice just fell. All I heard was a scream. Giant's Vice Admiral John Giant was completely crushed by Whitebeard. The terrifying shockwave shattered the wall of the square inches. The bayon rushed straight to the execution platform. If it hits, even the execution platform made of steel will collapse instantly. On the nick of time, the three naval headquarters with the highest combat power came together. As he raised his hand, Haki flowed outwards, turning into an invisible wall. Blocking the shocking shock. The battlefield situation is changing rapidly. With Whitebeard's attack, the pirates' morale is high. Seeing that they are about to go all out and break into the square and cheers the bay. At this time, all I could hear was a rumbling noise coming from under the ice. Walls made of wobo memory alloy broke through the ice, encircling the entire bay. The Baichan pirates wield big knives and maces, intending to destroy violently. But it was their weapons that shattered. Even Whitebeard's shock could only punch a crater in the alloy wall. And because of the memory metal, it doesn't take long for the pit to return to its original state. Say by the islands. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that's Marine's new strategy. The sailors on the battlefield retreated not because of the fear of Whitebeard, but to raise the wall. Look, the Whitebeard pirates are the only ones left in Ice Bay. At this point, the Whitebeard gang is like a turtle in an urn, and there is nowhere to escape. Ha 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 ha. As expected of naval headquarters, as expected of Marshal Sengoku. Tall, really tall. But, using this method to eliminate the Whitebeard pirates, I always feel a little disgraceful. That's right. First, they use counter strategy against the big whirlpool spider to carry out the assassination, and now they use this cruel method. Although it can increase the odds of winning, comma, dot, 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 it would be great if Marine could take down the Ubeard gang in a fair manner. Idiots. Do you know what you are talking about? This is war, not a play. That's right. As long as you can win. What's the point of using some tricks? This can greatly reduce Marine's losses, do you know? In the live broadcast square, the Melanitas were discussing fiercely. The other side, the faces of the major supernova pirates occupying the high point of the square became more and more deeply locked. They knows that they have been recruited, but they don't know what happened. This kind of unknown makes them more and more frightened. Stop arguing. Look, the surrounding wall of Marine is not completely surrounded. In the square, someone called out. On top of the battlefield, Whitebeard has already seen through Marine's intentions. And he also noticed the only gap in the perfect surrounding wall. That's where Little Oz fell before, because of Oz's huge size and the seeping blood. The surrounding wall at that place could not be raised normally. Bastard devil, there is no other way. Let's start, suckers. Marshal Sengoku gritted his teeth. Learn. Admiral Ake Ainu stepped forward calmly. Logia Lava Lava Fruit's ultimate move exploded. Flow, star. Fire, Mountain, Admiral Ake Ainu punched relentlessly. S-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-
the ability users who are afraid of the sea, other people will also be completely targeted, and they will never fight back. This is the essence of fighting around the wall. However, the situation is always changing. Just when Marshal Sengoku thinks he has everything under control, the fifth coated whale ship rushed out of the sea suddenly, disrupting the layout of the surrounding wall operations. Under the command of Whitebeard, the white group of pirates in the bay all boarded the ship. The whale boat was fully powered, and rushed into the square and cheers the bay with the help of the awakened Aussie. Marine in the Whitebeard Pirates, the final battle begins. Real world, the little lion thousand sons lands at naval headquarters. What the hell is going on here? Looking at the marines and pirates everywhere, the people on the boat couldn't get any better. They are all alive, not dead. Karas nodded in confirmation. Didn't it mean war? Everyone fell asleep. Straw Hat Luffy tilted his head in confusion. After a while, well, it's none of my business. Hurry up and save Asaba. Ah, Sabo nods 1.5 heads. Observation Haki swept across the battlefield. Found Ace who was also sleeping on the execution platform. Although I don't know what happened, everyone in Marine, including the Marshal and Admiral, have fallen into a coma. Now is the best chance to save Ace. As Sabo said, he and his younger brother Luffy rushed to the execution platform impatiently, ready to steal the chicken. However, next second, whoosh whoosh, there was a sharp breaking wind. A tiny shard of ice suddenly broke through the air. Originally only the size of a marble. It should be inconspicuous. However, in an instant, the shattered ice swelled against the wind. It turned into a huge iceberg and fell towards the Straw Hat Brothers. Third Gear, Gun of the Giants, Dragon, Claw, Fist, Dot. Chapter 197 Siblings, Hit and Luffy, Subscribe, Third Gear, Giant's Gun, Dragon, Claw, Fist, Naval Headquarters, Atop the Battlefield, Facing a Sudden Iceberg, Straw Hat Luffy opened his mouth and bit his thumb without hesitation. The Third Gear, Bone Balloon. Start. The arm swelled against the wind, and finally turned into a giant's fist, facing the iceberg. The other side. Sabo jumped up, his right hand turned into a black dragon claw. The dragon claw fist trapped around the mighty armament Haki exploded. There was only a loud bang. The huge iceberg exploded with the cooperation of the Straw Hat Brothers. However, don't wait for them to relax. Next second, the giant ice ball struck again. Clang. The knife flashed. Pluton Rayleigh draws his sword. Split the giant puck in two. Wait dot 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 wait a moment. Little girl over there, are you from fairy tale? Rayleigh yelled hastily. Well, Brandish paused for a moment. Take back the dozens of icebergs that are about to be thrown. Twenty-six really. That's fairy tale's powerboat. So, could it be that the place where this happened is related to fairy tale? Lindbergh, Murray, Carras, the three revolutionary army commanders were all taken aback. The president said that this place is now banned from entry. If you can leave, it will really help a lot. Brandish yawned and spoke lazily. Leave? No, we haven't rescued Ace yet. How can we just leave like this? Straw Hat Luffy screamed childishly. Because of the expansion sequel of the third gear, his body has shrunk dramatically. Then there's no way. Brandish shook his head. She was always the type who was afraid of trouble. There is never a lot of BB when you can do it. There will be no confirmation of Straw Hat Crew's identity at this time. Dang is ready to start working again. However, next second. Wait a moment, Randy Sauce. The red-haired singer Utah hurriedly called Brandish. Immediately afterwards, her eyes locked on little Luffy without blinking. You. Are you Luffy? Yuta spoke in surprise. Look at Luffy getting smaller. Look at that familiar straw hat again. Memories of ten years ago surfaced. That was when she was in the Red Hair Pirates. In the little windmill village of East Blue, she meets a silly boy. Luffy, do you know that girl? Asked Sabo. M. Little Luffy frowned. After a while, while the body is recovering, there was also a flash of inspiration in his mind, and he recognized the unique hairstyle. Yuta, you are Yuta, straw hat Luffy said in surprise. Yuta nodded emphatically. It really is Yuta. Straw Hat Luffy yelled happily. It was a period of ups and downs for him. The partners were photographed flying all over the world, and the team was torn apart. But relative, his older brother Sabo, who was thought to be dead, returned to him. Brother Ace was caught by Marine and is about to be publicly executed. However, in this battlefield, he reunited with his sister whom he hadn't seen for many years. Watching Luffy and Juta having a good chat, Sabo, Rayleigh and the others couldn't help looking at each other. Luffy, Tell me, what is your relationship with this girl? Sabo couldn't help but speak, not waiting for Luffy to answer. Hi, I'm Luffy's sister Yuta. Yuta introduced himself. Well, Sabo, Rayleigh and the others couldn't help being stunned. They never know. Luffy actually has a sister. You dot 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 hello, I'm Luffy's Zwang Sabo. After a moment of hesitation, Sabo hastily introduced himself. Luffy's brother? Yuta was also taken aback. She also never knew that Luffy had a brother. Well, in fact, she and Luffy have only known each other for less than a year and it's normal even if they don't know each other. Yuta didn't care anymore, and her beautiful eyes locked on Luffy's straw hat. Luffy, this straw hat. This straw hat is temporarily entrusted to me by Shanks. After I become a big pirate who can't lose to him, I will go to see him and return the hat to him. Straw hat Luffy opened his mouth to explain. Well, Shanks. Yuta's expression darkened slightly. Wait a second, Luffy, 
What does this have to do with Shanks? Rayleigh couldn't help but speak. Of course, because you has Shanks' daughter. Straw Hat Luffy casually reveals this shocking secret. The voice fell. The venue couldn't help being silent. Next second. Well, alas, the commanders of the Revolutionary Army, including Rayleigh, Sabo, and Karas, couldn't help screaming. Shanks dot 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 should be the Four Emperor's red-haired Shanks. That Four Emperor's redhead has a daughter? I've never heard of such a thing. Sabo and the others couldn't help being stunned. Shanks, does that kid have a daughter? Isn't that my eldest niece? But, Shanks, that kid didn't even tell me that he has a daughter. It's really. Rayleigh was surprised and delighted. Hey, you ta, why did you leave? Aren't you the singer of the Red Hair Pirates? Don't you like Shanks the most? Luffy confides the confusion that has been accumulated in his heart for many years. People will change. Now I am the diva of Fairy Tale 970. Yuta showed the Fairy Tale logo on the back of his hand. Is that so? The same logo as Straw Hat Luffy nodded, but didn't delve into it. By the way, Luffy, what are you doing here today? Asked Yuta. Heard the words. Straw Hat Luffy finally recovered this time. R. Yes, Ace. Ace has not been rescued yet. Ace, are you from over there? Yuta looked towards the execution platform. That's right. Ace is also my brother. I'm here to save him. Straw Hat Luffy's firm opening. Alas. How many brothers do you have, Luffy? Yuta said in surprise. Anyway, now is not the time to chat, Yuta, after I rescue Ace, let's get together again, Straw Hat Luffy said, and rushed towards the execution platform together with Sabo and others. Because he is an acquaintance of Yuta, Shilantish will naturally not stop him. The other side, Rayleigh's gaze was locked on Suyu who was also asleep on the fairy tale boat, and a dazed look appeared on his old face. The situation at naval headquarters was beyond anyone's expectations. But after seeing Suyu, Rayleigh felt that everything was reasonable. Only this man can accomplish such a feat. Girls, can you tell the old man in detail about this battlefield? Chapter 198, Beasts and Big Mom Join the Battle! Exclamation mark subscribe! Sing the world! Naval Headquarters, Summit War The all-out war between the Whitebeard Pirates and Marine reaches its final stage. Cool la 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 la! Whitebeard held high the supreme sharp knife Kong Yankee. The devastating shock force wrapped the blade. The big knife fell and it was broken due to the breath. The Xeon shockwave centered on Whitebeard and spread in all directions. Instantly, the screams of the sailors came and went one after another. Hundreds of marine elites who stopped in front of Whitebeard were blasted into the sky, and then fell down like dumplings. Little ones, kill marine, save ace. Whitebeard waved his hand, igniting the enthusiasm of the pirates. You 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 destroy marine, get ace, follow daddy. Get on. Whitebeard's regiment and tens of thousands of people under his 43rd regiment responded with high fighting spirit. Cool la la la. Whitebeard took the lead and opened the way strongly. Kong Yankee, the supreme sharp knife, was raised above his head again. At this time, ah la la, if you continue to let you do whatever you want, we will be troubled. A lazy voice sounded. Admiral Okaji, the highest strength of naval headquarters, jumped up and stopped in front of Whitebeard. Puck, with a wave of his hand, the extremely cold absolute freezing air shoots out. In an instant, for Emperor's white beard was frozen. However, waiting for the sailors to cheer up. Next second, Carca Tilda, there was an overwhelmed clicking sound. The puck that freezes white beard is covered in cracks. Ah la la, it seems that the vibration cannot be frozen. Boom, the puck exploded in shock. Admiral Okaji did not retreat but advanced, and launched an offensive against white beard again. Clang, white beard jerked the broadsword out of his hand, stabbed Admiral Okaji with a knife. Very good. Papa's haki pierced Okaji. The white group of pirates was overjoyed. Only, can Admiral be killed so easily? The answer is not. Admiral Okiji is still calm. Whitebeard's thrust does have the mighty armament Haki attached to it. But, before Whitebeard's cloud cut hit, Admiral Okiji has already been elementalized in advance. At this moment, his big hand grabbed Whitebeard's cloud cut, and the extremely cold air was released at close contact. At this time, Sparkle Rush, the captain of the third squad, Diamond Jaws, uses the diamond body attached to Haki to launch a collision. Boom. Admiral Okiji's body shattered, then recondensed tens of meters away. A streak of bright red blood dripped from the corner of his mouth. Cool la 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 la, the guy who doesn't want his life just go ahead. Whitebeard held high the supreme sharp knife Kong Yankee, just as he was about to slash. The next second, the trajectory of Kong Yankee's slash changed. It collided with a terrifying laser attacking from the side and rear, causing a terrifying explosion. It's scary Whitebeard. Admiral Kizaru pouted obscenely and the laser light on his fingertips flashed again. Kizaru, you bastard, you really linger. The captain of the first team, Marco the Phoenix, vibrated his wings. Phoenix seal, a powerful kick knocks Admiral Kizaru back. For Emperor's white beard does not even look at Kizaru. Just stare straight ahead. Kong Yankee swung down the supreme sharp knife. The terrifying shock shook the entire headquarters. Dozens of hundreds of sailors were beaten to the sky by the impact. In the face of the terrifying four emperors, even the elites of naval headquarters are as vulnerable as Chinese cabbages on the roadside. Finally, that's it for now. After Okiji and Kizaru, 
The third admiral of headquarters also stopped in front of Whitebeard. If you continue to make such a fuss, this island will really not be able to survive. Admiral Ake Ainu stepped on the supreme sharp knife Kong Yankee, and stopped drinking coldly. Kulalala, magma brat. You even said that I betrayed my partner and instigated Skew Yad's debt, so use your head to repay it here. Whitebeard laughed heavily. Come and get it if you can. Admiral Ake Ainu shows no sign of weakness. Between clenching fists, the hot magma burned and collapsed the atmosphere. A magma fist with terrifying explosive power. At the same time, Whitebeard doesn't dodge or evade. With a punch, the atmosphere shattered. With a heavy fist with unparalleled shaking power and a high temperature and high explosive magma fist, the sudden rush! Exclamation mark. One red, one white. The two color light divides the world into two. Rumble. The sky trembled. The shock of ultimate terror soars into the sky. Cracked a hole in the dark sky. Real world. Say buddy islands. Live plaza. The crowd lay dead in disorder. Just looking at this terrible scene makes one's heart palpitate. As a result, after a long time, the sober people on the island still dare not approach. Certainly, there are exceptions. What the hell is going on here? Ripping off the proprietress Shaki's eyes widened and she murmured in shock. Before that, she had received reports from her subordinates. But if you don't see it with your own eyes. In any case, she couldn't believe that such a thing really happened. Naval headquarters is nothing more than that. Even the islands of Sebadi are affected. Whose masterpiece is this? Shaki looked at the big live screen with a face full of shock. Cemetery. Her pupils shrunk. Little monkey. Old thunder. Just when Shaki's attention was focused on the straw hats who broke into the battlefield above. What she didn't notice was, on the huge branches of the number 30 mangrove tree, a pteranodon in armor with flames around its head was squatting quietly. After a few minutes, after observing all, the Trinodon flapped its wings and soared into the sky. At the same time, somewhere in the sky not far from the Sebadi Islands, supported by the flame cloud, a large and fancy pirate ship soared into the sky. The name of the ship Queen Mother Anthem, for Emperor Spignum Pirate's Mothership. Hey, Lin Lin, isn't the Wang Nuozo intelligence network that you are so proud of not doing well? The former four emperors Kaido of the Beasts said with a deep laugh. Stop rambling, Kaido. At least better than you. For Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin looked ugly. Among the Sea Emperors, the Big Mom Pirates have the strongest intelligence. This trip is Naval Headquarters Summit War. Big Mom even showed off their intelligence capabilities to their ally Kaido. It means that you can know what happened at Naval Headquarters anytime, anywhere. However, after the initial news of the Whitebeard Pirates landing at Naval Headquarters, there has been no new information. What happened to Naval Headquarters today? They have no idea. Mondor. Is there no new information? Big Mom asked in a deep voice. I'm so sorry, Mom, but something is wrong. The 19th son, Mondor, wiped his sweat in shock. Hey, hey, Jin is back. Let him tell you guys. Chapter 199 Gildarts vs Sky Mom Alliance Subscription A week ago, the four Emperor's Big Mom pirates allied themselves with the former four Emperor's Beasts pirates. The two major forces have formed an alliance, so they are naturally ready to start making trouble. According to the idea of the four Emperor's Kaido of the Beasts, he is preparing to lead an army to raid Wanokuni. Take back Wanokuni and the red sign post history text from Fairy Tale. But, four Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin did not agree. Retaking Wanokuni is a no-brainer for the four Emperors. The real problem is Fairy Tale. Kaido of the Beasts knows that they can't win Fairy Tale by themselves, so they come to Big Mom Pirates to ally with them. But four Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin is no fool either. According to their intelligence network display, Fairy Tale is far scarier than the world realizes. To be honest, even if their Big Moms form an alliance with beasts, they are not completely sure of victory. Not to mention that Fairy Tale may still have a favor with the Whitebeard Pirates. If Fairy Tail and Whitebeard also form an alliance, then they really have no chance of winning. Although Charlotte Lin Lin is arrogant, she is not completely an idiot and will not be led by the nose by Kaido. In order to eliminate Fairy Tail, besides them, other forces need to intervene. At the present 937 junctures, the Whitebeard Marine War is an excellent opportunity. During the past six months, the intelligence network of the Big Mom Pirates is always watching the sea, so they know that there has been more than one conflict between Fairy Tail and Marine. The relationship between them has passed the initial honeymoon period and entered the Cold War stage. Among them, the world government naturally contributed a lot. World government will never allow a just organization not under their control to exist. After all, if the allied countries of the government all go to fairy tale for help, where should they go to ask for the heavenly gold? Raising the bandits for self-respect, this is also one of the important political methods. Letting the pirates go rampant can to some extent make the position of the world government more stable. The natural contradiction between world government and fairy tale is exactly what they can take advantage of. Nearly a week. The intelligence network of the Big Mom Pirates could not find any trace of Fairy Tail. Therefore, they concluded that Fairy Tail must be planning to do something in this big event. So is their opportunity. With this big event on top, when the Whitebeard Pirates, Fairy Tail and Naval Headquarters fight to the death, 
both losers, the Hundred Beasts and Big Mom Alliance reappeared, harvesting three parties in one fell swoop, killing three birds with one stone. Certainly, this is just the best idea. In order to achieve this goal, they still need to make a lot of preparations. It is even more crucial to grasp the situation of the war. However, it is on such an important key. The intelligence network of their Big Mom pirate group was pulled. This is not only a loss of the company, but also the delay of key fighters. For Emperor's Big Mom couldn't help but want to start extracting souls. At this time, hey hey hey, the smoke is back. Kaido of the beasts laughed. Clatter Tilda flapping its wings, the Tyrannodon Yan Calamity landed on the deck and returned to human form. What's going on, Jin? How much has old man Whitebeard and Marine been fighting? Are those bastards from Fairy Tail showing up? Kaido of the beasts asked in a deep voice. No. Mr. Kaido. Yan Huanjin shook his head, the face under the mask was full of shock and solemnity. What the hell did you see? Stop moaning, tell me quickly. Big Mom emerged. I saw Marine in the Whitebeard pirate group, as well as the islands of Seibadi. Everyone fell into a coma. Yan Calamity took a deep breath and told everyone what he saw. Falling with his narration, the huge deck couldn't help but fell into a deathly silence. Next second. Aha, uh -huh, are you kidding me? The Marine and Whitebeard pirates are down? In such a short time, Marine and Whitebeard are dead together? Also, this is a war in naval headquarters, what's the matter with the islands of Seibadi? Prospero, Owen, Eggy Baron, Beckmuth and other Big Mom pirates ministers and guarders couldn't help screaming, with extreme shock, horror and disbelief on their faces. I don't know the specific situation, but one thing I can be sure of is that they are still alive, maybe because of some kind of ability. They have fallen into a deep sleep and coma. Yan Huanjin gave his own judgment based on the situation at the scene. Some kind of ability. What kind of ability? This is going to be heaven defying. What kind of ability is it that even four emperors Whitebeard, Marine Marshal, Admiral, and heroes have to be recruited? If you really have this ability, it would be a bit too scary. The paddling star smoothie, the biscuit star cracker and others couldn't help but shouted. No wonder. After all, the current naval headquarters is the world's highest spec battlefield, gathered the most powerful people standing at the top of the world. However, even the strongest were all brought down. This ability is no longer just terrifying. If they also pass by, will they also fall down inexplicably? Well, isn't this the best opportunity? Lin Lin, what do you think? Different from the horror of the Cardas under his command, Kaido of the Beasts couldn't help laughing out loud at this moment. Well, well, I think so too. For Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin showed no sign of weakness. Take advantage of this opportunity to kill old Whitebeard and Marine bastards without breaking a sweat. So what are you waiting for? For Emperor's Kaido of the Beasts waved their hands. Dragon's Flame Cloud supports the mother ship of the mother group and heads towards naval headquarters. However, next second, sudden change, rumble. There was a loud rumble in the sky. Deck. The carders of the two Imperial regiments suddenly raised their heads. A burning meteorite continued to enlarge in their pupils. Meteorite. Why are the meteorites? It's alright, how could a meteorite suddenly fall down? Damn luck. We're in the orbit of a meteorite. Let the ship go, Kaido of the beasts. All the ministers and carders of the ant group screamed in surprise. No. This meteorite is not accidental, it is coming towards us. Category. The second in command of the Big Mom regiment said in a low voice. This moment, the endless empty sea. A sailboat moored quietly. I'm sorry, the president said it. Now it's forbidden to enter here. The blind swordsman smiled and slowly put the staff knife back into its sheath. This is the sea, not the home of the old man. I can only rely on you. The bald monk Yanti Jura with long black beard clasped his hands together. For Emperor's Alliance, then let me meet. Gildart grinned. Chapter 200 all beasts attack together. Gildart smash. Subscribe. Boom. Boom boom boom. Atmospheric explosion. The terrifying flame meteor pierced through the clouds. The goal is directly at the alliance of beasts and Big Mum. If this attack is carried out, no matter how strong the ship is, it will explode on the spot. Get out of the way. A meteorite is about to fall. This is really bad. Prospero, Owen, Cracker and other ministers of the Big Mum pirates all panicked and shouted in amazement. Lin Lin's children, what's so surprising? It's so noisy. Kaido of the Beasts glanced at Cracker and the others. The expression on his face remained unchanged from the beginning to the end. It's just a mere meteorite. Boom. The souls of Kaido of the Beasts slammed onto the deck. With a leap, he met the meteorite falling from the sky. Thunder underscore. Kai Kai tilde. Black and red conqueror's lightning bolts wrapped around his new mace. Eight trigrams. Boom. Kaido of the Beasts swung the mace wrapped around it. Hum. The atmosphere vibrated under his stick. Kaka tilde. Rumble. With a thunderous bang, the flame meteor meteorite from outside exploded under Kaido's domineering blow. Countless burning meteorite fragments rustled down. The sky seemed to bloom like a firework. Very gorgeous. Uncle Yik Xiao. Your meteorite was blown up by the opponent. A girl with a small satchel sits on the bow admiring the fireworks. To be able to smash the celestial body summoned by your excellency Yixiao, 
it seems that the other party is also a person of extraordinary strength. The bald monk jeweler with long beard and waist looked solemn. After all, it is the four emperors, so it is only natural to have this level of power. Gildart grinned, with the swooped back hair. If the four emperors break through like this, then it will be hard to explain to the president. The blind swordsman smiled and held the stick knife again. The blade came out half an inch from its sheath. The dark purple gravitational light flashed. Next second. Mothership of the Big Mom Pirates. Waiting for Prospero and others to relax from the threat of meteorites. The powerful supergravity came without warning, severely crushing the Japanese film. Even the anthem of Queen Mother supported by the dragon flame clouds sank little by little. What is going on? Is this force dot 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 gravity? Could it be? Fairy tale grows. The expressions of the ministers and carders of the ant group who were struggling to support under the gravity changed drastically. According to the information collected by their intelligence network, the leader of Fairy Tale has multiple abilities. Gravity is also one of them. No. Not right. Yan Huanjin, the second in command of the Hundred Beasts group, stood straight and shook his head in a deep voice. If it's the man's gravity, it won't be to this extent. That is to say, is it the real Paramisha's many fruits that are playing tricks? Katakuri also stood upright. As the second in command of the Four Emperors Regiment, both Fire Calamity and Katakuri have the qualifications to wrestle with Admiral. Naturally, he wouldn't be crushed by this level of gravity, not to mention that the current gravitational suppression of Xioxiao is still in a state of wide area dispersion. Hey, hey, it's really arrogant to go one step further. Kaido of the beasts with a mace on their shoulders. He seemed unaware of the gravity exerted by Yi Xiao. Well, well, originally I didn't want to cause extra problems, but, since they insist on courting death, then let them be fulfilled. Four Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin laughed. The voice fell. Kaido of the Beasts and Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin jumped together. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Kaido of the Beasts transformed into a green dragon hundreds of meters away, dancing the wind and clouds. Well, well, well. Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin laughed and stood on King Long's back. Hey, Lin Lin. Don't you have Zeus and Prometheus? Get out of here. Kaido of the Beasts no longer smiled, and reprimanded sharply. Well, it doesn't matter, just go, Kaido. Don't forget, I gave you the ability of the Blue Dragon Fruit, what if I do it? For Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin laughed loudly. Cut. King Long Kaido cut angrily, but in the end, he didn't say anything more. The Green Dragon swung its tail and swooped down to the sea with Big Mom on board. Wow, there's a dragon with a different color from Runtis, wrote. Kano exclaimed. It's all right. Daddy's here. Don't be afraid. With a wave of Gildart's haki, he took the opportunity to play handsome. Father idiot, that's just the defeat of the president's subordinates. I'm not afraid. It's really old-fashioned to use such words to play handsome in front of your daughter. Kano pouted. Gildart's face turned pale. Ni was rejected by his daughter. Ha ha ha. Both Yixi and Jura couldn't help laughing. Eating melons every day Gildart's and Kana's father and daughter is also one of their joys. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, well, well. In the time it takes to speak, Guy's mother, the double emperor, has arrived. As expected, it was you, the guys who defeated Akaku on Beehive Island half a year ago. For Emperor's Big Mom narrowed his eyes slightly. Although I don't know what you want to do. But since you dare to provoke us, it means that you have made up your mind to pay the price. Kaido of the Beasts said coldly, Just let the horse come here. Gildart spoke quietly. Don't confuse us with a cuckoo and the like. For Emperor's Big Mom grabbed the pitch black thunderclouds use with his raised hands. Go to hell. The mouth of Kaido of the Beasts opened wide, and a hot light like lava flickered deep in its throat. Shock you. Hot interest. The two Emperor-level powerhouses didn't hold back at all and they would be terrifying lore in the future. Whether it's Big Mom Zenulai or King Long Kaido's heat, they can easily destroy a fleet. Now, the two emperors work together. The scorching dragon's breath and the berserk thunder intertwined and merged. On power, the joint attack of Kaido of the Beasts and Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin this time is definitely no longer under the roar of Suyu in Lian Long mode. However, facing the terrifying combined attack of the double emperors, Gildart's just plain raised his right hand. Smash. Gildart's whispered the words. Super advanced destruction magic. Smash. Activate, boom, rumble. In an instant, the sky is falling apart. Everything shattered. Dot 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 slash. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.